What up and welcome back to another episode of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Sorry about the no pre-show today. We were, uh, you know, filming some other things. Xavier has a flight to catch uh, at like 5 a.m. Because, you know, he's on a, a comics budget. So, so uh, I was like, uh, but uh, XG, welcome back. Super comic budget. I already saw I'm supposed to share fucking a room with Tripoli. Is that why do you uh, say, why do you say it like that though? Huh? Like, why do you because say? Because I know like, he doesn't want to share a room with me. He wants to jerk off, go to sleep, you know, like comic shit. He but, told me he still jerks off whether you're there or not. Uh, yeah, when I go to sleep, probably, dog. <laughs> How often do comedians jerk off on the road? I mean, we got one right well, here. Sam was, like, yeah. Sam was a sex addict though. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I mean, I do too though. I mean, what else is there to do? Exactly. Like, what are you going to do? The, some of the Take a walk suck. in the city or some shit? Like, for how then, long? Yeah, then you get all horny when you get back. You yeah. You jerk off. Yeah, <laughs> but what I mean? This is our guest, ladies and gentlemen, the very funny Saul Trujillo, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for having me, bro. This is a beautiful studio. Thank you, man. As I mentioned man. before. God damn. Is that uh, so, like, I'm, like, you've been, obviously, you know, you get to go on the road and you're doing your thing. How many hotels do you think you stayed in, bro? So thus Man, far. I like that you said the word hotel and not motel. <laughs> <laughs> My shit don't have a lobby, dog. My shit's faces the street. <laughs> damn, with the little side window? Oh, damn. Uh, the Indian, indifferent Indian dude in the back who's just like, don't smoke in my room. I will charge you. Like, fuck. Uh, I've been in so many, so many motels, dog. Like $60, $70 nights because I just want a place to sleep. I don't need no, not maybe a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Smoke in the bathroom. But I've been in like countless, bro. Countless. Every now and then I'll splurge on like a like a holiday in. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's splurging. That's splurging, dog. I'm cheap when it comes to that. I just need a bed. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, this is because you're working though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like you're yeah. just, you know, I, I feel that like that's a mistake when like uh like I guess some entertainers or a lot of entertainers do is like they'll start living with uh I guess out of their means. Oh god. When it start when the when the ball starts rolling and then you're like. I guess in reality, you're supposed to really look at those moments and be like, maybe I should save up because I had a lot of rainy days to leading up to this point. Yeah, some fools will get a couple thousand dollars and be like, yo, that's it. Yeah, like I, like you could be content with that, but I'm just like, I mean, like I get it. If like it depends on how you're trying to live, but I'm not gonna, I'm not. If I get like a a, a good check, right, I'm not gonna just be like, hey, I'm let me stay at the Marriott. Oh yeah, but see the thing is, like, like how okay, what what what's a good what's a big check? I mean, if I get a hundred thousand, I'm. You're uh, staying at the Marriott from here on out? No, nah, but at least for the first week or <laughs> the first month, shit's got to change a little bit. He, he loves, hotel, he loves hotels bit. more than hookers. I love, love them. hotels, dog. Like, I don't or, know what his yeah. deal is, but, like, he really loves hotels. Xavier, you been to the, the Biltmore? No. You should stay there one day. Yeah, see, like, nice. I've been... I didn't start staying to fancy hotels until, like, my business started doing well. Like, Wait, you know, what, what's, like, a fancy hotel to you guys? Like, the uh, this one like I stayed the, at, the like Disney? The, like, the Marriott that's connected to the Ritz-Carlton? Yeah. Like, chain? Yeah, you said Ritz Carlton. Yeah. Right, yeah, there you go. The Marriott, like, the Marriott at Disney, that one was really nice. I stayed at. Okay, so you guys are staying at legitimately nice. Oh, but I hit, I, I, I hit the pool and I get the continental breakfast. I'm that guy, <laughs> dog. I'm that guy, dog. I don't care how hungover I'm. I don't, dude. I'll, I'm with the chick and I'm like, I'll be right back. You want anything I've, from I've continental breakfast? I've been to like breakfast? the, like the, like the, 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 you know, the motels where you just need a bed and like, or the hotels like, cause Vegas, you can stay in a hotel, but it's still a grimy hotel. It's gross. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's gross. Like you're like, all right, there's a lobby, but this carpet's been here since Sinatra's been died. You know, like yeah, the Rio. <laughs> Have you guys seen fucking videos of the Rio? Remember that shit back in oh, the day? Yeah. That, that shit, shit like, is the yo. It's like a haunted house. Twenty four. Yeah, yeah. The videos, TikToks of. <laughs> People going like, yo, why is this Chinese restaurant just closed in the middle of the Rio? Like, that's abandoned, dog. They've yeah. abandoned the hotel. You can stay there for like $6 a night, though, from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And, I, and for some reason, I think uh, the magician guys are still doing shows there. Penn <laughs> 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 Teller? Yeah, Penn and Teller. Yeah, they're still doing it. Because, I mean, they still have a contract. It's not your fault that your hotel is dilapidated and shit. But, I mean, here's the thing. I think eventually, as if success happens, you know what I mean? Like, I will, you know, at least splurge on something like a something better than a something with a lobby would be yeah. nice <laughs> are, are, where, where are you where are you at in your in your comedic career like are you what year i'm in 13 Thir 13th year 13 year, 13 year. Yeah, yeah i heard that like you know from like uh people like felipe esparza uh you know or like other latinos that you know you'll hear that it's like you know it doesn't really start hitting like you know or like joey diaz it'd be like after 10 years you start seeing some growth come out of there is that true Cause you're like one of the few that I'm like, all right, you, you're right there right after 10. Yeah, man. I, I feel like you start to get more comfortable in the voice that you're trying to uh, convey. You know what I mean? Like, you, this is how I speak. 
and this is how comfortably I speak. And then this people are like, oh, like when they talk about my stand up, they're like, are oh, you just like talking to us? Like, like I yeah. just do stand up like I'm talking to people at a party. I've seen man. you do stand up and you give me a lot of uh, like Ralphie Mae vibes where like, you know, like like because you're not just because your tone of voice, but it's like it's like, what up? Like, you know what I mean? It's well, he was also one of the inspirations, to be honest. Like, he was a bigger guy. When I first started comedy, I was like 420. Dog. You were bigger, bigger I was bigger. Fool. I got a lot of loose skin. I'm still big, but I, like, I'm shaking. 290? Damn. Damn, that's, that's tight. Boy, but it's yeah. still big, you know? But I, no, I, no, yeah, no, 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 no. You, you, you deserve, dude. Yeah. That's that's but what? that's the road. It's 100 people, pounds. But people think that like, oh, how'd you do it? It's like, bro, it's de- like comedy is a, a marathon. So you have your things of depression where I would do drugs. I would gamble and I would not eat just because because you still you you're uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to go on a diet. But then like your impulses go somewhere else, like towards fucking Coke or towards. Fucking He's right about that. Gambling, dude. though, you know, so it's pretty easy to lose weight if you just fucking focus on other addictions. <laughs> like when, when remember when uh, the trade shows were all popping off and all the wheat shows were going on everywhere, we'd have to go to Vegas and stuff, and we'd be like four days in San Bernardino, then we'd drive out to Vegas another five days there, just like straight out all these all these events. I'd be like, oh, this is a perfect week for me to lose weight. Let me get <laughs> like I'd be like, let me get two eight balls, yeah. and I'll yeah, and and yeah, I'll be like, and, and and then I'm coming back home feeling like shit. And I'm like, I got I saved so much money, yeah. like yeah, and you're you're just like, but then you you're like, wow, my bill went to the fourth hole today. Well, look at slim, yeah, look, look at sli- like a yeah, slice, bro. yeah, bro, it's it's crazy, bro. bro like, I'm a skinny for I come back feeling like like I look way too skinny. Like I just went to a bender, like when I went to EDC and I came back. Uh huh. I looked at my mirror and I felt I felt like a zombie. Oh yeah. You guys come back and you guys feel like. Yeah, because we're like, because I'm not. Yeah. Eating. I look, <laughs> I look all, good. Yeah. Yeah. I be seeing some fat fools though. It's like they'll be eating on top of doing the drugs, and I was like, man, you got you got to pick one or the other, dog. I've, I did, yeah. yeah, I've tried. I've tried eating like you know. I remember when, like the, this is when I remember the first time I learned when I couldn't eat on cocaine was when I was like, I want to stop by this taco uh, stand because it's second nature to me. But as soon as I bit that first, uh, the first pineapple taco with the fucking, uh, you know, with the, the what is it, pastor and the pineapple, I was like, ah. cause the drip the went down with the drip it. Goes yeah, down the chili drip. You're like, yeah. I don't want no chili drip. <laughs> chili this is gross. <laughs> no, but I be seeing fools like bigger fools just eat like a whole jack in the buck, whatever burger and fries and shit, and they're like, all right, let's set it up. And I'm like, set what up, dog? You grew up over there, but like. Like that Fresno area, right? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Stockton, so it's the two hundred nine. Okay, so it's and- yeah, it's all, but it's all fucking farmland. It's all, it's a pretty big town, man. But it's all straight up, <laughs> yeah, windmills, <laughs> yeah, 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 cherries and strawberries. So it's like, but it's also heavily gang affiliated too. Yeah, but I, I brought it up. I brought it up because I'm, I'm assuming you hung, you hung around a lot of big fools yeah. that did coke, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and they yeah, just yeah, eat because yeah. in Fresno, man, they, I mean, they got the taco stand. I mean, it's Mexican as fuck. So places like Fresno, like fools or take a lot of pride yeah. in their barbecue and shit. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of pride in like Mexican food. Like our Mexican food is better than their Mexican food, and then I used to agree. I'd be out there, be like, yeah, I agree, but like, no, the more south you get, the better the Mexican food gets. So it's like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? You ever like, uh, I feel like burritos and cocaine are the same. It's like the more north it gets, the more stepped on it gets. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> like this burrito's got lettuce in it, dog. Why does it have so much filler in it? This is terrible. yeah, it's true though, man. Because like, when you like, you know, after like you head towards the Midwest, like burritos and tacos are not a talk in the table. Nah, man. You know what I mean? Like fentanyl right there. Yeah, like <laughs> hey, hey, like, like you once said <laughs> filler, <laughs> once you start fucking getting Tex Mex, you're like, uh, I'm I'm not, I'm too far uh, from home. Man. I'm we're about to stop seeing the word taco in the menu. And when you said by filler, <laughs> I'm like filler, like adding fucking fries to a burrito. We don't need no more of that shit, dog. So Papa's more so carbs, bro. Yeah, that's a big ass tortilla, filler. bitch. That's straight filler. You're just adding filler. Yeah, but like, but isn't that, that's a San Diego thing? They love doing the, yeah. the California style burrito. Yeah, but that's that. I I started that shit with uh, you guys. Remember that that fucking terrible uh, taqueria uh, uh, in, at Albertos or Albertos or whatever. Uh, yeah. Oh, that food chain is like historic oh, and shit, but you, it's horrible. It's bad. Yes, it's sh- dude. I've always thought that, and people are like, you gotta go to Albertos. It's the first cha-. like. I'm like, 24. no, the fuck, I don't, bro. You're twenty four. You're it's just because you're fucked up. Twenty four hours a day. It's yeah, the only that's one that's open. Reason. Yeah, yeah three a.m. Yeah, it's three a.m. That shit. Yeah, so that's when potatoes and in, inside of a burrito is like this is fantastic. Oh, you, oh they, they were the first ones that came with. No, I'm, no I'm, they, I'm just saying that's that. They're that's one of their popular burritos, okay. California style. And but that's like that's when you're all fucked up. You're like, this is bad, but I'm it's twenty four. You know what I mean? It's three a.m. and I'm fucked up. Like now the good the like the good taco places, bro. It's like yo no man, because it's like how many times you've been robbed. 
Yeah, bro. Like, you just go in there and be like, has Alex and Namorado featured you guys? All right, oh. you fools are popping, dog. Like, because, <laughs> bro, right. like, ain't no, ain't no, like, not successful taco place getting robbed. Nah. You know what I mean? Because, nah. like, from a criminal's point, like, like, putting yourself in the criminal's point of view, you're like, why would you stake out a taco shop? I'd be like, first of all, I'd be like, all right, I'll go buy some tacos first just so I can see firsthand how busy it is. Yeah. And then you scope it out. You're like, damn, they've been busy for three hours. Yo. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, like, I just, that's, I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, how, it's one of the worst, not one of the worst crimes, but it's one of the worst and petty crimes you could do. You're, 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 you're robbing from Rasa, which is like, I'm like, it's well, the yeah. worst. Man. Yeah, it's like yeah. the worst, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, you know, at least you know the food is good. Where they're gonna, <laughs> well, you know, I got a piece of shit mentality, dog. You know, I got a piece of shit mentality. How long to someone stage them getting robbed? Like a vendor. Like a vendor staging it, recording it, sending it to ah, for, for TikTok for, for, a, for, a, for a buyout, <laughs> dog, for a straight buyout, dude. You get buyed out. Like how much money? It, how much money do you think a buyout ends up costing these fools? They go hard. And Amorado had a like. If we ever see me the last time. Like there, if dog. we ever, like if we ever see Cairo robbing a taco stand, you know somebody <laughs> paid him to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're like, yo, you know he do it. He's thirsty. <laughs> That's all that comes up in my algorithm is like taco stands that get robbed. And yeah. Like, Yo, and then it's like they make it a race thing. They're like, this black fool is fucking robbed. I was like, I don't, I well, don't know, man. All right, the, all right. Well, you know, when you first open your Instagram, what does your Instagram hit you with, bro? I, I, I've been noticing that my Instagram likes to see me like get teary eye in the morning, bro. You? Yeah, bro. So like I, I've noticed for the last four days, right? I'll wake up and once I brush my teeth, I'm like, let me see what's cracking on Instagram, see who my posted good or whatever it is. And then like it'll see it'll be the feed and it'll be like, I rescued this cat. And you know, yeah. <laughs> and, and then you see the timeline, I'm like, you son of a bitch. It's like I fucking love this cat. Like and, and like and it gets me they give me some tear jerkers in the do morning, get, bro. Do you get animals in your algorithm? I don't feel like does everybody get animals in their I algorithm? I don't get animals. Yeah, I was gonna Are say, you an animal know. person though? No, I get it. I get the same shit. I get I get fat girls, I get animals, <laughs> and I get and I get food. Those are the three things. That yeah, I, I get food, animals, and then, and then like well, I I, I get like uh like like Shit that I like from my childhood that I'm like reliving now. So it's yeah. like it'll be like Disney Pokemon or some shit. And I'm just like, you can buy this? So it's there, they're constantly selling me shit. Yeah, that's what it's all for. Yeah, man. but it's but just... I'm like, they hit me different. Like I feel like they they know when and listen. Now I, for some reason I feel like the whole thing of of making me get a tearjerker in the morning is like they're just tenderizing the meat, bro. <laughs> like you know, they're like, "Yo, he ain't gonna be tough." Why the rest do you of the watch day. it? You know it's coming. Dog. I fucking swipe you know it. It's why? Because the fucking it's cat terrible. is cute. I fucking feel bad for it, dude. And then I look at my cat and I'm like, "I love you, dude." You want something immediate in the morning? We can't even let ourselves process. We immediately turn on our phone and go, "Oh fuck, I'm sad." You know what I mean? Yeah, like I that? No, it's just I do the same shit. Yeah. Like I'll immediately, like it'll I, be like a, it'll be like a girl in a thong, and I'm like, "Fuck, I'm just like." Nine. I got a fucking boner, dog. Yeah, you're like, why am I so horny at 9 a.m.? Like, and the algorithm just does it. Though, you're like, you know? woke up like this on threads. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, it, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, that shit has a lot of control. Sometimes I feel that I, I congratulate myself when I don't fucking fall into the trap right away. And like, I had do times, I, I do things that I'm like, not people would do back in the day, but I'm like, maybe I find time to thank the creator or some shit. And I'm like, yo. I don't know. I woke up today. It feels good. Oh shit! Let me look at the sky. It's still blue. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. To be grateful is is fantastic. I I'm not really that like religious no more. But, look, I, yeah, I that's what I'm Catholic, saying. But yeah, but but Ed, to say to not sit down and say hey thanks for this day. Thanks like I'm not this. dead today, yeah, dude. Let me just God. appreciate you know this I mean? shit. Yeah, cause you, you, I mean you grow up in particular parts of wherever you grew up. It can be difficult. You can have some people that didn't come up with you. Yeah. You know that are gone. So like you appreciate being here. I'm thankful. Yeah. That I didn't that I forgot that I didn't forget to charge my you, phone last night. Like when that shit when that shit's out of nine, when that shit's out of hundred. Yeah, tell me you're not happy when you wake up and your phone's out of hundred and you're like, fuck, fuck yeah. I wanna yeah. do shit, but then I you, fell asleep last night high as fuck and I still charge my phone. The anxiety I, of waking up and it's at thirty seven percent, you're like, motherfucker, yeah, why didn't it charge? I got a full day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially if you have shit to do and then you're like, oh. you wanna look through it so you don't even let it charge. Fuck, you gotta have the anxiety. you gotta just have your own thoughts. We're like, fuck, what yeah. have you done? Yeah. When you done charging, and that long cable you have doesn't charge it. It just keeps <laughs> it alive, dog. It just keeps it alive. You don't got the official cable no more. You That's a too long. short, dog. I have the best. You gotta get a portable charger. You gotta get a port. You gotta get those like ring ones. 
Oh, you you fuck with those? Yeah, yeah those ring those? ones are tight, dude. Like those ring ones, they just attach to the battery. Just yeah, don't use the gas station chargers, fool. You're yeah. out here. You that's do. a whole scam, <laughs> it, dude. That's a whole scam the Indian guys got going alive. on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Keeps it hey, that, that that whole charger scam is something the Indians got going on at Seven Eleven, bro. Explain the scam. They, they the scam. bro, they they're in on this. They're in on this, dude. Like I like I guarantee it, bro. Because Whenever you go down the Cartman district, bro, like there's like one or two places like when you're walking down and you're going to the smoke shop and wait, I'm going. What's the Cartman district? No, the Cartman, the smoke oh, shop. Cartman. Yeah, I yeah. You said Cartman. <laughs> no. Like, so like there's like the smoke shop and I'm going to get like my pack of papers or whatever oh. I'm going to go get. There's always this one fucking shop that has all these fucking chargers and all these fucking these like car chargers. And I'm like, who's buying these? Like, who, like who's stocking up on these? I'm like, you. we know they're bad. You're buying them from downtown for like. Point twenty cents a fucking piece or two cents a piece, and I'm like, I look at them, and then I took a picture of it before. Like I was like, hey man, I was like, who? and I asked my friend, I was like, hey, who who comes and buys these? He's like, Seven Eleven convenience stores, bro. They buy them weekly, and it's like a whole scam. Like you think <clears throat> they'll even make them different colors? Like there's different shades of white for the white chargers to try to convince you and be like, this is the newest one, and it says for iPhone 14. But it's all the same shit, bro. It's a fucking scam. But that's how strong the phone is that we need it, man. We Like, if you forget your charger at home, you're like, I just need something that keep, will keep it alive until I get home. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's all I need. You know that sounds I mean? like very drug addict-ish. Like, cause I just, oh, need, a little, I, I just need a little bump till the no. drug dealer hits you me You want to know the drug addict part? You never <laughs> throw that fucking cable away. Nah, you know you keep it's bad. It. You know how many of those I have? They're like piece of shit cables that I, they're like... I cut them. The moment, the moment they're bad, I fucking just cut them just so I throw them oh, away. Damn. Yeah, I fucking cut them. Yeah, you I, cut out X's in your life for easy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I make the effort, damn no, it. No, like, he, tell them what you do. Have, like, dude, that's, the time, that's when, like, when you remind me that you're just at the grocery store and you see Kit Kats and you just grab them and squeeze them. <laughs> that comes from that. No, it doesn't. That reminds me of the same Wait, mentality. Yeah, I yeah, can't <laughs> He lives to do that, dog. Like that and punching the bread in the bread aisle. <laughs> like I just I'm such an asshole. Thing to do. <laughs> like and, and like I think it's funny if you get to see someone's reaction to buying one. He's like, I don't even care. I laugh. The f Honestly, if I saw some dude just fucking wreck a piece of bread, I'd be dead on the couch. He does dead. that. I, see, I wish he was at the store when I was at the store, bro. He'd appreciate my he, work. He literally It's so mean and random out of nowhere. That's why And it's like I'll I'll look for like the 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 buttermilk expensive bread that's like eight dollars or some shit. <laughs> Like so, I'm just like, oh man, somebody, some Italian guy is gonna be pissed. So like, I'll I'll get the bread I want to get, and then I'll just get like a one two punch, but like accordion punch, so they're like flattened, and then just leave it there. Cause there's no consequences. Like, no, no. And what his, are they gonna do? Tell you to leave? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his logic is now it's on discount for the poor people. <laughs> I'm like, no, yo, that will get moved over to the discount aisle, 100. Yeah, percent That little right. rack with the expired fruit pies. It'll have a special <laughs> label that said punch bread. 50 cents. <laughs> or, or, or that's just going to end up fucking being like they're going to cut in his license and give it to the, to the homeless with the grits they donate in the morning. You ever been to a homeless shelter? No. I I've, walk, wor I walk I've worked at one. Huh? I walk, well, I walk by the one in Hollywood all the time. That shit smells like grits and butter. Oh, no. <laughs> it smells like shit. And. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kitchen I worked in the kitchen, like for. Oh, I you worked in the kitchen. Okay, no, like I'm walking, I, I'm walking yeah. up and down Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, okay. that's not nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I remember, like I had to do that shit for community service, and I just remember I was like, man, I was like, where are you guys getting this food? Because they would look through the like the food, and it's like grocery stores, right? So it's like stuff that they would kind of get rid of, but they yeah. would just like donate it. And then they'd be like, if you just see a fucked up piece of bread, just throw it away and get this, get all the good ones. And I'm just like, oh shit. I they'll was, eat yeah. the fucked up. Piece no, of they'll bread. eat the fucked up piece of bread, but it's just like, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like my people are out there fucking smoking off knives, dude. You don't think that, you know hot knives or hot knife method? You think they give a fuck about smash bread? They'll eat it. You think there's such a thing as like fine fine meth? Yeah. Like I mean, they like where it's like you know how meth. there's like top OG like you know like with OG like like you know with weed and then there's like shitty weed. You think it's like that? Because you know like, with coke we've tried it. Like you're like oh damn Lavala is a whole other level, and then you're just like. Did you it, never see Breaking Bad? Yeah, yeah, I know, I, yeah. But I'm saying it's like there's gotta be, bro. yeah, there like has to be. Like, I'm, not saying, like, like, I'm not saying like I'm not saying where look, do you look, buy look, that, look, but look. I'm just wondering. I'm like, look, look. I'm like, how the fuck does that that fancy crackhead is like? Yo, no, nah, I only smoke the blue man. I guarantee shit. you, like even though you like even though Breaking Bad's obviously like a series, I guarantee you there's a like there's a chemist out there that likes crack. Yeah, and he made his own crack as yeah. pure as it could be. I don't know how pure. I don't know if we're talking like that stupid. What is it? The blue, 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 whatever he called it. But I guarantee you, in this world, there's a couple chemists out there that really love crack, 
and they make their own crack. If we knew a chemist and he was like, yo. No. No, no, no. I'm not, <laughs> not, not, what are we talking about? I'm not saying the crack. I'm saying like, he's like, yo, I know you've thought about liquid cocaine, but I think I have the, the, the concoction. I'm like, how good is it? Are you going to do it? Like, would you try it? I, I'm, I'll be honest, though. Like, if have this you is, ever done it? Oh, liquid coke? Yeah. No, that's the one version I never tried it. It's crazy. Like, I've never had someone, that. Someone, Yeah, someone had it in a Visine, like a little, uh, like the, the Afrin bottle. And then he was like, try it. Was like, was his I name Stoner I, Rob? Huh? Was his name Stoner Rob? No, his name was Stoner <laughs> yeah. Rob. Scante Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, he just had it in a Visine bottle a couple years ago. And I was just like, I was like, all right. And I did it. And I was like, clean? Yeah, so you have no Clean. drip from what I heard. No drip. It was nice. <coughs> yeah, pure. Uh, <coughs> but ever since then, it's like uh, I feel like the qual- ever since I did that, it fucked me up for the quality that I've been receiving. You know. Yeah, like you, the, I feel like once you get, if you if you get to the upper levels of like the drugs, like or the drug options, you can't go back. Yeah. Like yeah. it's like you really can. It's like, like you, just, you start searching, oh, and I feel like that's how these fools end up. I'm on not. the street, like I feel like a lot of these right. fools that, that are in the street, they probably give them like some good ass crack or good ass heroin in the beginning, right? Yeah. But then the whole point is like they treat they treat them like the charger. You're gonna yeah. come back again with just oh, keep you alive. Shit. They smush cheese. Yeah, them, bro. bro. Like they, yeah, they, they, <laughs> we've they, come back though. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had some, we've had some fire ass Dr. Green thumb shit, and what I have now is not that shit. I've gone back a little bit. Yeah, and but I your know, girlfriend's not gonna give you bad weed either. Oh yeah, I know <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. it's not like she's fire gonna at least shit. give you some good, like some some okay, like you know what I'm saying. But it's it's different. It's like you going back to smoking. Like I would, I don't think I could ever smoke when I started out smoking. Like when you start out smoking, like I would buy shake food because that was, that was enough I, for I was, me. Yeah, yeah, because like you would go shake. I was 18 years old and I'm like, I got my license. I'm like, oh, oh. shit, I was 28, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that dude, that I mean, dude. you had to piece up and we're all piecing up on the shake. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, so like at one point, bro, I was, I was chain smoking. So I was like, I'm not going to buy top shit if I'm going to smoke joint after joint after joint. So I'd buy mid-level shit to smoke all day. But then you start, I start to get like. You start wanting to throw some. Some fucking coke in there. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, that, that was, that's pretty good too. Yeah, no, I mean, if you start wanting to throw extra ingredients in there, you're like, let me have some keef to this not so good weed, or let yeah. me, have, yeah. You might as well just smoke better. Weed. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that's what happens. I I tried that shit too. I was like, yeah, just chase smoke all the way. And then after I tried doing that, I was like, just buy the pound, dude. <laughs> like you have enough friends where you can sell them some and make your money back. I was like, just buy the fucking pound. Guy. I've never been that guy to go nope. in on a pound. I always been yeah, the guy who's like, "I'll buy an eighth off you when you wanna." Yeah, when you get the pound, and he's like, I'll, "I'll get an eighth off." You. <laughs> I'm usually that dude. Yeah. You never I... try some of the drugs? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot of effort. You gotta like have to. You gotta have the want to have the business for you know foresight to want to do uh, that shit. I've never tried to sell drugs either. I I've, I bought like I bought like a good amount. Yeah, I buy drugs. But if, no, 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 no. <laughs> I bought like like before I bought like an ounce, but like. It was basically to get it, and then I already knew my homie wanted like half of it, and then yeah. I was gonna get rid of it like that. But I've never bought like on the purpose to sell. Where I was like, where I was at the lick, where I was at the the smoke shop buying baggies. Yeah, like that was never me. I already knew if I was, oh here, come pick it up. I already picked it up. I tried it like a few times, where I was like, by the gram. Yeah, for, I remember, and it was like unintentionally too, because like one time, I had hooked up somebody with like, you know, I had hooked up a homie who was like who was into that business. With uh, like a good connect, and I know he made a lot of money because he gave me like some money and he gave me an ounce of coke, like, like he just gave it to me. He was like, I don't know what you're gonna do with this, but this is a thank you for like the person you hooked me up with. And I was like, all right. So I just started doing it, like I just. But then I was like, I can't possibly just fucking keep doing it. Yeah, you can. You really could. Yeah, yeah you really. Yeah. I mean, you really could. <laughs> like how we both said like, but, uh, yeah, you can. What but I was, like, I was like, I go get some baggies. Now fucking start selling it. And then, yeah, and then I fucking tried it, and it's, it, it, bro, you, like, that's the most, when you're selling drugs, you have to be, that's the most dedicated salesman of all salesmen right there, bro. Yeah. Because you really got to be on top of your clientele. Because at any moment, you could lose them, and that shit matters, and that means you're not making that, that's that why we, money. That's why we hate Irvin. How are you not available at 2 on Friday night? 
He's handicapped. Are you not fucking available, dog? That's your prime time. That's like a stripper saying, I don't work at eight on Friday night. What's You've got a retarded drug dealer. Tell him you got a retarded drug dealer. He's retarded. Like, he has purple palsy and he can't wipe his ass and he smells like shit, dog. Like, Jesus, the, o- like the only way to hang around with them is to do cocaine. Are you fucking for real, Xavier? When yeah, that's all fucking that guy, magic. We've been trying to call to him. Last time he didn't fucking pick up, I called him. He told me this story. Then Bill called him. He told him another story. So he's a liar. No, I, thought no. were clean. I thought you were clean. I thought you were clean. Never been no. No. But, I mean, uh, I do cocaine like how our ancestors do it. Like I'll buy an eight ball, but then like I only I'll only do like two bumps. I'll go, all right, that's enough. For, like two beers. Two beers worth of coke. You know, and then I'll I'll keep that shit for like two months. I'm like, you still got that coke? I'm oh, like, yeah. That's how yeah, it that's, that's how it like. used to be, bro. Like I remember before, like, I'm like, oh man, because I've been, you know, I haven't done it in a while, bro. Like, was this was the last time we won the MLS Cup? <laughs> uh, what is, no, November? No, November. Yeah, so it's. I'm hoping to get to November, like without fucking around. You know what I mean? And and, and it, it's 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 hard, but because I, I I don't know. I I, I stopped because I'm like it stopped it stopped being one of those things where I was like, I'll just do two bumps to finish doing this yard work. Yeah. Yeah, like you know how like yeah. our people oh. use it, or like your mechanic. And, yeah, or like the mechanic, no. and then you just end up doing it the whole time. Like I need another one. And another one, and then yeah, you're, that's what it's a drug, man. Yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and, and, drug. And, and then and then sure, and then you're then you're then you're trying to go to sleep at night because you're trapped the reasoning in your head, and then you're texting everybody. You're like, girl, oh. <laughs> you're like trying to you're like trying to get laid and shit. And you're like, nah, man, it's, it's not. Nah, I do it like how my like I I got married to a white woman. I do it like when my wife makes a cake. Like this is gonna be naughty tonight. You know what I mean? Like I just keep it in the cupboard. Uh, I, yeah, I do. Every now and then, like a friend will come over. Like yeah, da, da, da. they're like yeah, like champagne. Oh, you want me to get some champagne? <laughs> and then people go yeah, let's get a little champagne. I but would like that. Was, I will tell fools no. They'll go oh cool, come on. Like nah, that's enough tonight. Yeah. We don't gotta do any more shit. I'm like that. Like I believe he's believe that's it or enough. not. He's gonna be like, you want one? You want? Yeah, one? he he had we'll a go like he, this. Big Mount Everest, and I'm like, fool, I'm a skinny. Put back more, and then you'll put a little bit back, and I'm like, I said, pull back more. And he's like, you're such a bitch. Ed. Yeah, he's one and of I'm those. Like, Give me the sack, and then I'll just like. But then again, but maybe like, just to, maybe just that's to, probably the reason why I had to stop, bro. You guys go hard, yeah. You side dick Eddie George. Sometimes when y'all party, y'all party, party. Cause I mean, till the fucking wheels fall off, type of shit. And I'm like, yes, one last dos. There's literally no beer left. Fuck las dos, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> you start no, having... The, you, I guess you got to party No, but they got to work. No, but that's, well, that's what working tomorrow. Ya son las cuatro. And there's no beer left. To me, I can't party with no beer left. Yo hago todo sin, sin alcohol. Straight up. I don't drink. Oh, you do coke with, with no liquor? Damn, you're crazy like Jason Rouse. Mm, that yeah. is a Damn, savage. Damn, that's yeah. a savage for the sure. Drip, the drip without liquor? Wait, wait, wait. Do you What's smoke up? cigarettes though? No, damn that you're that's that's, that's cabrón, dog. What's that's, what's, 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 so all right, because look, food like yeah, team, well, you do coke. Um, uh, wait, fucking um, Saul. Saul, sorry, I've never done coke. Just so you know, so I don't know shit about liquor and a fucking cigarette. What's up with all? Well, that? normally it's 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 if you're gonna party, let's say coke. I thought you were really I, down with it if you just did the coke and that's it. That's all. I don't I don't like I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't drink alcohol. I smoke weed. And that sometimes, you know, I go, I go skiing. You know, I call it going skiing. <coughs> All right. uh, that's it, bro. Like, it's because it's honestly that if I wasn't so fat, that would be my shit, dog. I'd be worse. It's, it's, like ca- yeah, it's crazy when you're world, fat, man. bro. Like, because yeah, yeah. you're, you're like my heart. Ralphie, they uh, used to do coke. I know. Like fool. heavy, dog. I know. Like, There's yeah. some bigger fools. I'm like, but it's just like I said, man. It's like, I'm going to try to lose this weight and obviously chill off doing it. But it's like, it's nice. It it's is. my favorite thing. And you're still on the, on your, uh, on the, on the mission to lose more weight, right? Obviously. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It, it, it's hard though, man. Because especially being a comedian, I mean, we're gonna use this as excuses the whole time. But we have our, I have impulse control, so I'll be out. I'll be at the comedy store. They'll be like, "Oh, we got pizza. We got fucking cake." And instead of going like, "Nah, I'm all fucking high," I'm yeah. all like, "That's nice right now." Yeah. You know. I mean, the best you could do is a chicken, a chicken Caesar salad with crispy I chicken. Could, yeah, with tenders, could, and like it's still tenders. like it's still Fuck. yeah, like still like not. if you go if you go to a comedy club, that's nah. like the best you could do. I would, I would fucking order that salad and still get the hot wings. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Like I'd be like, when she comes by, I'd be like, "You ready for the bill?" Let me get them hot wings too. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. It's an impulse buy real quick. I'm almost done. <laughs> impulse eating is a real thing, Xavier. Like fat fools deal with that shit. I deal yeah. with that shit, bro. Like so, like yesterday. I, w- I went to go. I, I don't know. I w- I've been I've been going heavy on Facebook Marketplace, so I've been beating up, driving different places, just yeah. buying stuff to flip. And every time I fucking go out, like I gotta stop myself. Like last night, I'm like, 
it's already eight. You know me. I try to I try to not eat after eight just because I'm like, cut it off, bro. Just have some kind of control. And I seen the Carl's Jr. ad for the fucking the shake. And it's I'm, too funny to be vulnerable. About like, it. and I'm just like, I really had to tell myself, like, fuck, bro. I really have to fight my head to tell yeah. you, like, don't go. Don't do it. Dog, don't I, do it. I drank the water that was in the car. Like, that should fill me up. Nope. I still wanted to stop by for that shake. I did it. I was a but, I was just like, but I was just <laughs> like, I let, even, even when I got home, I was still like, I wanted that fucking shake, bro. Like, and uh, let me tell me that ain't crack. It tell is crack, crack, dude. Oh. That shit is fucked up. <laughs> like, honestly, you don't feel like that about food, Xavier? I yeah, love different, food, different, but not like that. Different like, That's how cocaine is for me. The way you just described yeah. me, I love that, but not like that. It's fun. Like, I like it a lot. Uh, who, like, who doesn't love food? But for me to be there, like. Like shaking, like kind of be like drinking water so I don't have to stop by and get a milkshake. Y'all tripping. Like, I drink water when I'm thirsty, not because I'm Have you had a milkshake, though, Xavier? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, just think about it for a second. That shit is an experience, dog. Like, He's like, it's fine. I wish I felt like you felt, dog. Sometimes, Come on. yeah. He does, though. He tells me sometimes, he's like, I really do wish that I got certain joy of certain things uh, from, uh, from from like the way I, the way I get about certain things. Yeah, because like, he does a high. Uh, uh, well, what do you have? Hold on. What do huh? you have? Like obviously, he's food, like hookers. I love drugs. liquor. Love huh? liquor. I love, love drink. liquor. That's, that's the shit. And the way you I know. No, 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 you love beer. Liquor. Uh, oh, yeah, liquor, beer. liquor is different. Like you yeah, know, be no, be the way I, I love, love the Jack and Coke. But I love yeah, the Jack you, and Coke yeah. too. But they got there? Yeah, they got That's what my my mom grew up drinking. No, but what I mean, like you know how I know that because if I go to a restaurant, I rather always take. Pay the tab, the, the liquor tab. I don't mind paying a fat liquor tab. But even when I get food, I'm like, well, how much was that? <laughs> huh? Damn. And for liquor, I, I don't care. I liquor. can literally get, I can get really a round of shots, a Patron, and they can all be 25 bucks. And it'd be, it'd be six of us or seven of us. And I'm like, See, well, it is what it is, dog. I don't know. But I think you love the show and off part more than the liquor, bro. No, cause, because cause I, I love liquor too, bro. But like, I, I love it so much that I don't feel the need to pay 25 or shots to sneak it into venues. <laughs> like, I'm not going for it, though. Like, if I get money, I, I'm going to show off with where we eat. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm I feel, I feel you. For like, like nice, if, there's, if there's signature nice cocktails, I'm showing off. I'm having yeah, all yeah, of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is kind of... That's like the fat guy move to do, bro. Like, that's what I do. when I, I remember when I had like a really good fucking like just deposit and shit in my account. I was like, damn, man, we never thought we was going to make good money like this. I remember I bought every cocktail on the menu, dog. Like, and it, it wasn't a lot. It was like 12, but I was like, fuck, I did that. And, I'm, and it was, it was, it was expensive, but, yeah. um, but it's like, I get it. Like, I do get it's an impulse. If I get to tell my girl, like, whatever you want. And I don't even look at the menu. I'm like, this is nice right here, girl. Whatever yeah. you want on that menu. Get a get an appetizer. Are, <laughs> are you married? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah married, bro. How long married. you been married? Congratulations. Three years. Thank you, bro. How many? Three years. I've been with her for six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. She's she's great, man. She's a good comedy wife. She's a good wife in general. But she's she's down. That's what that's the thing. It's like she like, you gotta be out. Hell yeah. That's right. Clap no, clap it up for him. No, 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 they do. Sorry, I was rolling the joint. I wanted to join. My bad. Sometimes you do cocaine. That's fine. Yeah, you know, like you know, I, you, okay. I mean, not, 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 I'm not never hung out with either of your guys' wives, obviously. But uh, you and Frank, Frank Castillo's wife's a good comedy wife. Like the way the way he talks about her. Yeah. She lets him go party. She lets him go like he'll be at festivals. The way he for says she doesn't days. tell me nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, sometimes you need that because I've been tough. meaning to link up with Frank. Like we got to get him together. Like uh, how like dogs meet. You know, we got <laughs> <laughs> we got to get them to meet. Or they got to have some kind of common. <laughs> yeah, no, but well, I mean, believe it or not, like Burt Kreischer and like other comics wives hang out. God damn it! Can we go one podcast no, without that guy? I love that that's fucker. his fucking. That's his fucking daddy right I, there. Bro. I saw him last night. He was he was uh, he did a pop in at the original room in the store. Oh, see, did he did take, take his shirt, shirt off? off? Mm -hmm. Yep. See, bro, come on, I man. I love that shit. Come on. And I love when a white guy can just take his fucking shirt off and make the crowd go crazy. Because I never could do that. If I took my shirt off, these fools would be like, let's so get you like shit back nails? on. Huh? So you like chipping there? No, fat dude. A fat dude that drinks <laughs> a lot. There's fat guys Because it reminds me of like my uncle. He really reminds me like my uncle's dog. Okay, a boy yeah, that just got, drinks he's all got, day. He's got Theo energy. Yeah, my uncle's taking like my uncle's literally, they'll be drinking until you, Your and family, your family shirt though, man, like not for nothing. I haven't really met them like that, but it's like. When you describe certain shit, I was like, oh, this is a genetic thing. Like, the maniac uncle shit. Like, one of his uncles steals panties. One of his other uncles fucking, like, <laughs> got caught with a hooker. The other uncle fucking, like, fuck the goat. yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, and then he tells me another thing today, like. What the fuck? These are real yeah, things. No, and then he tells me this other thing today because he has a very, he has a common thing where I'm like, we'll go to events. We'll be like, hey, we're going to go film an anime expo for this vlog. 
Can you get a ticket? He's like, yeah, I got it. Buys a fake ticket, gets scammed. We'll go to another event. <laughs> Why yeah. Do you, so how the, do you buy a fake ticket? In today's day and age. And then today, yeah. and today he tells me, he was like, oh, this reminds me of this one time. Me, he's like, my, me and my uncles and my whole family went to the soccer game, and we all got scammed. I was like, oh, so this is a genetic thing, bro. Like, how do you guys, you guys just don't know how to buy tickets. Like, what's Wait, wrong with you no, guys? Where'd you buy it, though? That's my question. Hey, tell him, tell him about the fucking... Uh. So, so I was telling him, because he was talking about the Taylor Swift concert. Yeah. We were talking about how, like, that she got sold out. Like, like we were talking about, like, how... Shouts to her, like, so selling us. She's got, like... Hey, if you're boning her, you're for sure, like... It, like, oh, if you're class. finishing inside. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're fine. You're not but, taking yeah, that risk. Huh? We were talking about <laughs> that. And, I, and how it was sold out. And he was telling me how there's people outside the venue hearing her just sing from outside. Like, crazy people, obviously. What the fuck? Yeah. So then... For some reason, he reminded me of the story of back in the day, like in the 2000s, Mexico versus the United States played. Here in the, in the United States, my parents were like, I was into soccer so much. So my dad was like, ¿Quieres ir? And I was like, vamos. So he gathers on my tíos. It's like six, like eight, six, eight of us, seven. And we go with no tickets. But we were like, we'll get them there. We show up and we're like looking for scalpers and we fucking find some. Looking my for was, scammers. Yeah, basically. Some, yeah, and then my dad, we finally find these black guys. And I remember they're black because my dad was like, man, that's why I hate black guys. Typical, like, <laughs> typical, like, 90s, like, parent that crossed yeah, the border. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, never yeah. talked to a black guy. Never. And then the first time he gets done dirty by a black guy. So to him, that's like, his impression for life. Yeah. 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 This is how they all are. Yeah, literally, yeah, bro. I don't know. To this day, I'm like, that. dad, like, you, mm. you just, you fucked up. It's your fault. So we're there, and they find these, they find these, these, I think, they were black guys. I mean, I was like, tickets. And my, they're like, there's like a, like a barrier, a language barrier. Yeah. So maybe they did tell my dad, but there was a language barrier for, but the point is we bought these tickets. They look legit. Everybody, my uncle looked at them. Everybody looked at them. They bought them. Buy for a hefty price because it was sold out. Well, we found out these fucking tickets were to watch them at, at a screen, like a block down from the fucking stadium, dog. Fuck. My parents, my uncles went back looking for these negros. They started saying the Mayate word, like all oh, pissed off. And I'm like, yo, like, and as a little kid, you, you, you can tell when shit gets escalated. At a little, at one I love point. how you said the word and then word after. Yeah, because I was You didn't like, say well, M word? <laughs> yeah, because I know, yeah. Mayate word. <laughs> Cause it's like it's well, a it's a wild. difference between the M word and the N word, yeah. bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, but they the said M-word the N word. Yeah, they said the N word. Yeah, and yeah. they didn't even know what it really meant. Oh, but the they N word just... in an accent. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I guarantee if you told my dad what it meant, he'd be like, oh. I just heard some white guy. These I, I don't remember. It's, it's, a, it's a Beatle, right? No, the N-word. My dad was saying the N-word too. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. The N-word and I said the N- and then Mayate. Oh, yeah. Because I was N-word, like. No, the N-word. Should I say the M-word? <coughs> no, don't say it. No. No, the M-word. The M, <coughs> M, M. You already said it. But yeah. that's allowed right too, right? That's not like. <coughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is. Uh, but. What? <laughs> what if like you see one of those bugs, like the flying yeah, bugs? Yeah, that's what they are. And then like what like it's a beetle, it's a do, do you get in bug. trouble if like you're a Mexican kid and you're like, mom, it's my ate? I don't think so. I think <laughs> like because that's what calling it. You know what I mean? Like, but if you uh, direct that hand towards another like black <laughs> person, then you're you like, then it's like, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah, you can probably kick your ass. <laughs> 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 but that's the thing. That's that's the immigrant coming to this country and not really interacting with black people until they get here and then they deal with well, specific set of people and then that's their first impression and then like and like I just said in the yeah. defense there was a there was a form there was a, l- a language barrier yeah, so maybe the guy the black guy did tell him like yo dude these are for screens you and know he didn't like, tell him <laughs> like, I'm giving them the defense dog because I don't know I was a little more he I happened to have eight tickets and then you couldn't find them <laughs> you know he didn't tell him. Yeah. yeah, my parents were. They went looking for these fools for like 40 minutes. They missed the first half. But that sucks, though, because I feel like there's always going to be that racial divide between like black people and Mexicans in that aspect sometimes, which it's it has everything to do with uh, misunderstandings in culture. You know what I mean? Like whether it be a language barrier or whatever. That's how my dad, my dad was almost the same way. It was like, and it, it's like, uh, it is what it is, but I'm not going to correct you. I just yeah. know that I'm not like that. You yeah, that's I mean? the thing. You You got to have a different opinion. Like it's like. Or you gotta like you gotta break that 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 uh that shit that's trying that's like subconscious being passed down. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's like man, like I can't correct my grandma. She has a certain perception where I'm just like, look, man, I'm glad you were born in 1925 because like you know you just stay at home now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't want to be going to Target and you just say <laughs> say certain things. Not that she says shit like that, but I'm like, 
she'll be watching the news and then like you know she'll like she'll see a taco stand getting robbed and I'm like man. But also, bro, she was born <laughs> in 1925, like maybe before toilets. Now she's at Target. She's like, there's so many fucking colors. Man. <laughs> yeah, like it's, the lights are so bright in here. I don't like any of these advertisements. I'm scared. He's, you know yeah, I mean? bro. It's, <laughs> it's, it's she's about to turn 100. Or, or, not, or 99 A person who's 100 is, is scared of the world right now You can't blame them They can yeah. do what they want She, she, she stays at home <laughs> Literally the world comes to her Whatever she's allowed to fucking see dude Yeah like they don't know right too or scary. wrong uh, like, <laughs> I, You remember when you used to say the n-word In high school Like kind of like Like you remember I Well Oh uh, whatever Well I did I used to say the we n-word We were all like listening to school. rap music We yeah. thought it was cool And and you know what was the weirdest thing when I still say mom, it sometimes when, when my mom I was thought gonna she say could. If you still say it sometimes Like there's a, there's that gray area that Like I'll, I'll say it to my neighbor sometimes I'll be like What's up my nigga And okay. then like he'll, he'll give me some He'll give me some okay. dab And I'm like He just never really had a problem with it bro No like, well, well what I'm trying to say Is like like It was that casual to me At one point And all my friends and shit Yeah That at one point My mom thought she could say it Yeah Oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Come on, no, tu no, tu no. You definitely can't. She's you're like, like you're no. not cool, mom. Yeah, she's like, ¿por qué no? Tu lo dices? And I'm like, because you're not allowed to. And she's like, well, like, it's like you said, it says, it's like, dude, because I tell her, it was like, dude. Like, ¿qué significa eso? Like, como dude, como, como, like, como estás, compa? And Dep she's like, depende. And the next thing you know, she's like, Ap apaga la tele, mate. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, come on? <laughs> and I was well, like, "Can't say it." Yeah, and she's well, like, "Well, I mean, why you, did you tell?" Yeah, you grew up with it. You know what I mean? You grew, you grew up, and here's like that Mexican OT right now. He says it. Yeah, Mexican yeah, OT. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But he grew up around the culture. He also carries guns around. Yeah, that also. He's like, if you don't like me saying it, come, come correct me. Yeah, come let me know with an AR-15 and shit. I was like, you can say it. I'm pretty oh, sure. Yeah. How did she say it? She was like, "Cómo estás, nigga?" Yeah, she literally said, "Apaga la tele." That's oh, the first shit. time she said, "Apaga la tele," and I was like, "Qué." And then she said it again. I was like, yeah. like I'm off. Really? The N-word for Mexicans just stay at, it, like, your bus stop. Like, you try to say that at a different bus stop, it might not be as accepted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even, even then, like, a lot of the youngsters fucking say it. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I, I'm not. Here's the, I feel I'm, like the newer youngsters, though, they're more, like, they're more integrated, bro. Yeah. Like, like it's so it's it, so it kind of became more, instead of, like, them kind of learning to, to respect it, in, in a sense, it just became fully unaccepted because it's like, hey, we all hang out with black people now. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, because that's you see that, bro. The unity with the with the, with the younger the younger motherfuckers, bro. And I, I like these younger motherfuckers actually. Like the youth, I've been doing these do these shows at the Hollywood Improv for like these. They, I guess they do these teen tours, bro. And it's just it's usually like fourteen year old kids, and I just it's just like white kids, but they have no souls. Because of like the video games and shit, they have no souls. They're the ones on the on the modern warfare and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like they don't give a fuck about anything. You try to do jokes in front of them, they'll like scream pedophile at you and shit. What? Yeah. I Damn. God, fool. There was a Asian comedian who went up after me, and he was like, uh, he was like, hey, that's some kid that screamed out. He's like, uh, the Asian dude was like, ah, I know, I'm not Matt Rife. Some kid from the audience is like, it's Matt Rice. <laughs> <laughs> Called him Matt Rice, dog, so quick. I'm like, these fools are heartless. And I'm like, that's what we need kind of in the future is heartless motherfuckers. I mean, it, it, I mean, in a sense, yeah. But then some of these motherfuckers don't know when to stop. I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. you can't have a world full of Danny Mullins. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I feel like, I don't know. I watched that guy. He's a, like, he's very entertaining. He's a, you know who Danny Mullins is? I know who he is, bro. Yeah. He was, he did that fucking lowrider convention. Uh, you guys, you guys, you remember there's a load art convention back. He was gonna like film content there, and then he was like, "Yeah, come film content with me." I didn't. Hunt oh, and he dressed up, right? He dressed up like a cholo and shit. Wait, you, yeah, you were, yeah, I think uh, I was. He, up, yes, bro. we were at the coffee shop. I had no idea what the context was. He was like, "Oh, they're not letting people in. People are getting agitated." And I realized what he was doing. I was like, "Oh, I gotta vet people better." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's. I didn't know he was gonna do this. I was like, "Oh shit." This yeah. is on me. And then hopefully I was like, hey, bro, I got to go. Uh, I got to get out of here. And then I dipped. And I guess he still went in the convention. And I guess he got checked by some fools. I he got no checked. Idea. Yeah, he got. <laughs> so yeah, he, it's, a, it's, it's on his it's on his vlog. He's like, yo, this shit ain't funny, man. He was like, this is a culture to some motherfuckers and all this shit. Gave him the whole spiel and just made him feel like, you know, like. And I mean, he I I'm, I like dude's content. He's a funny I dude. Love yeah, his, it, I, he, I yeah. think he's funny. But like, I was like looking at the shit he was about to do. And I was like. I'm Mexican and this is I'm not doing this shit. 
I don't. I, I thought we were gonna like interview people. I didn't know he was gonna act like. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm a star. Yeah, you didn't know he was gonna go in there and try to like culturally appropriate. Uh, I had jokes. no idea what the fuck. And when he came, I was like, oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm like, just because you roll with uh, with the Hispanic guy Leo with you doesn't mean you get away with certain shit like that. Because he rolls with the co-host too, the 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 Cuban guy. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. yeah they're they're both. They're they they're nice. Yeah, they're the both funny. Time, it's like you guys are asking to get beat up out here. And he it's 100%. crazy because this guy does this shit like he'll. I think the like one of the craziest ones I've seen was um they have there was like a women's right rally, and he shows up with his ex girlfriend and he like he she made her look pregnant with with her fucking black eye, and like he's like. She's here cause she loves me. Fuck you guys! And he's yelling at these Fuck, chicks, and then, and then and then he and then he's like he like uh, he tells the you know the girl that's with him. He's like, "Don't look at me. Tell him you love me. Tell him this how I love you. That's how I show you." And like she has a fake black eye, and the girls are all like, "We're calling the cops." And it, I, he's he's a crazy dude, but I, I yeah. But he's also if he's willing to do that, he's definitely willing to get beat up by cholos. He's he yeah. doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's been on Skid Row, like literally, like interviewing some of these motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's, bro. You, I. I don't. I, I, we're close to Skid Row, and I've never thought out of all my years of making content or just working here, I've never thought, hey, let's go to Skid Row and uh, make some content. Ray has. You fucking were in bum alleys all the time with fucking oh, the alley nasty reviews. ass Raz dude reviewing yeah, that shit. Is, that reviewing is no... shit on the wall, and, and which, which I think is a great idea. Hey, no. uh, it's a great, crazy idea. But I got to give it if you no, were there. All the all the alleys that we shot, nowhere near Skid Row. Okay, they're my yeah. bad. So it's imagine just so how... Imagine how crazy Skid Row is. Yeah. Alleys are quite the adventure, though, man. Dude, this yeah, they are. Ra- I mean, Ra- I gotta give it up to Raz that he used to review alleys in LA. He used to just, just pick the nastiest alley just and the review grossest it. Just the grossest alleys? Or just any alley. He's like, yeah. well, today we're choosing this alley. And um, we went all over the place. Yeah, he's like, there's a trash can here in case you need to throw something. And he's like, we got a bum living here. And then he'll go up to him and he'll be like, we'll put the cross street. Yeah, he'd be like, well, well how did you end up here, man? And sometimes they'll be like, some crazy motherfucker that'll chase him out or something or yeah, it just, it, it's, it's very random. And then he'll just, there'll be like houses in some of these alleys, some of these alleys that like, that was gang affiliated alleys. Like MacArthur park area yeah. alleys. <laughs> just, just alley reviews. It just for what? Just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. into like <laughs> <It's> content. <laughs> the content. Like I have a food show called high and hungry. We review places. We get high and then we get hungry and review places. Yeah. Like I like that. Cause I love food. Yeah. <laughs> But I, you could understand my question as to like <laughs> the alleys. Yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> You're like, it's constant though. I'm like, why are you like, who's going to want to come here? Like, cause like, what alley is going to sponsor this? What alley is like, yo, I can't wait for you to come and review this fucking alley. Like, I'm pretty sure we can make some fire ass content if like you could just like get away with like giving some people drugs. Not like Fent or nothing like that. But like, you're like, yo, we found this bum. Oh, yeah, we found weed. this bum in this alley. We're gay. We're gonna give them some liquid LSD, dude. <laughs> just no. fucking just send them on a trip. No, like, we can give out Fent too. Why not? I've always thought they just will survive. It's not even gonna do anything. They're just gonna be like, "Yo, give me more." <laughs> dude, we should bring bum fights. I've been talking about bringing. Bum I've always wanted to bring back bum fights. That would be epic. Man. Oh man, are you ready for the backlash though? I mean, I don't. They don't have to know. They're, I think they're. It. I think they're big enough of a problem know. here where people would be like, "Yeah, at least they're doing something now." I'd go. I would pay them. Like I would give them residuals. <laughs> I would start a tournament. Treat them like Dana White. Tournament, and then the championship gets a house. Oh, you're about to be the Dana White of bum fights. Gets a house. We make the top one fight Jake Paul. Yeah. <laughs> like top bomb versus Jake Paul, dude. <laughs> the same shit as a fucking YouTuber, and we make them big, dude. We start them from the, like, we get the toughest one versus the toughest one. Then we we don't few. train them or nothing. They're, oh. they're organically bums, right? They're gonna they can still... train if they want because there's a house. There's an initiative to a house. We might they, lose a few wanna, on the way up. Like they have gym membership access. <laughs> We're talking skante and push-ups, right? That's what. That's yeah, what I mean, they, they want yeah, to. Whatever they their have, technique they is. They do have gym membership access because yeah. there is a house up for grabs. Burpees and, and crack. And, and, and a pound. And a, okay, <laughs> you're, you're right. Maybe they don't care it's about not, It's not I'm in the... take it back. No, I'm taking it back. It's not in the script, but we give them drugs at the end, too. That's what I'm saying. That. Yeah. A pound a pound of skante and a house. Nah, nah, they know. nah, you can't look, man. You can't make it a big amount. We're gonna get busted like that. You gotta fucking divide and give them like a charcuterie board of drugs. That way, it's just amount, like a can zip. We, yeah, you're can, not gonna give a pigeon a whole loaf. You gotta give yeah, him a crumb at a time. To, yeah, bro. dude. Like, yo, can we go to Patreon so they don't steal this idea? Cause, yeah. Because right. next thing you know, there's a million dollar idea. And uh, Elon Musk brings back fucking Tesla yeah, bomb fights. Oh Tesla. shit! It's Sponsored like Ultimate Fighter, but instead of the like, remember the that's uh, what I'm thinking about at the, the, the crack house instead of the but, fight house. No, no, no. <laughs> 
So you didn't, you weren't letting you weren't letting me expand my. We start, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We go start ahead. the tournament here, and then okay. we, and then we get the best one from LA. Okay. The best homeless from New York. Then we put them in a the house. Like yo mama. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But for bum <laughs> fights, and then from there on, the winner of that gets a shot at the UFC. What? Payton is in. It. We're helping the homeless. Homeless, uh, homeless going from nothing, real nothing, rock bottom, to fighting with the rock. There's some pretty athletic homeless out there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like there is, bro. I've seen some of these. What I'm saying, bro. Like, there's money to be made. Like I've seen some of these fools run at the park. Bye, Twitch. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later on Twitch. We're full on Patreon because you know we're it's we're it's starting to go down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, tw tw it's only a matter of time for Twitch. Is like, hey. This content ain't cool. Anyways, you guys should be on Patreon. What are you guys waiting for? Did Twitch just ditch us? What happened? No, nah, we, uh, we, we, like, they, they get, that's their, you remember when you used to get, like, uh, the websites, and then I used to have the four trailers for the pornos before, and uh -huh. then so you could buy it, so they get those four pornos for a certain amount for free, right? Uh-huh. And then after that, it's yeah. like, hey, if you want to watch the rest of the porno, you got to pay five bucks and join us. Oh, yeah. so you part, got, how much do you guys have it on for, like, 30 minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, like, an hour, 30 an minutes. Hour. Okay. An hour for free, and then an hour on the Patreon. Oh, this is all overtime and extra. Overtime, huh? you can say whatever. You can say faggot. Um, <laughs> you don't say the N word. That's but. like his favorite word to just go say whenever it's like. <laughs> well, because we got demonetized for that shit on YouTube. No, we got demonetized because I kept inhaling gas. A lot of stuff. They didn't yeah. tell us. I, why. I don't think they like either of them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys did both. And we would do a lot and of that. They had my. They had my page. They kept sending me suicide watch, fucking text messages. They kept sending me emails asking me if I was okay. Because they really thought that what I was doing when I was huffing the gas and having a tank was like like a self harm type of shit. Cause screen. yeah, like they thought I was like self harming, trying to kill myself. Fuck a man can't huff gas in his own premises. No yeah, more. like like we can't we like we, it wasn't just like me doing the whole thing. Like it was like a social thing. Like we were all just like hey, like cheering with the blue. We had a celebrity doing with us, which is a lot better. <laughs> Deftone from the Deftones. Wait, who was who was doing Steph it? Tone from the Deftones. Yeah, Steph Steph Tone. Tone from the Deftones. The guitarist from the yeah, Deftones. I didn't yeah. Know that. yeah, he yeah. loves Nas. We he brings a tank, we puff it, and they demonetize us. Knowing how much you know how much. Not money, your fault, Steph Tone. How much Tone. money he's made YouTube? A lot. A lot. And a you lot want to demonetize us? Go fuck yourself, YouTube. You I know. When the they demonetize us, I was like, presence. how could you change? <laughs> Are you guys still posting on YouTube even though you're demonetized? Yeah, yeah we, yeah, we, we still, still post, there. but the Patreon gives everybody like access to the, the yeah. like live and all this shit. They talk they a lot like, of shit. They have like a tier. And, like, it's, it, you know, at first it was, it's like it was a blessing in disguise because now we really know who, who's really. And, okay. it's, and it's constantly growing. So. Well, how how's it going, actual fans? How's it going? How we doing? Uh, it, right, right now we got what two seventy one. Yeah, they fucking love it. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm like, some of them are not like that's the basic subscriber subscriber tier is five bucks, but some of them have a hundred dollar tier subscriber. So this kind of cool. This is good weed. I'm like, I feel like oh, I gotta keep, I gotta like this joint, but I keep forgetting. Oh yeah, go for it, my boy. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. I'm in the loop of like I'm already high enough. Where oh, I'm like, go, I should yeah. like. Well, you're joint. questioning it. You're like, yeah, I'm kind, I'm kind of faded. I think I should, but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's it's a constant thing for me. That's what I'm saying. Chain smoke. Mm. Yeah. No, no, it's what I usually do. It's what I usually do. I've been smoking all day. I uh, I usually start with a vape pen in the morning. Cause I, I don't like smoking indoors in my own apartment. Cause I, I'm an old man. I was like, I don't want to lose my fucking deposit. You know what I mean? You just got a bigger one though, right? I just got a bigger one. I congrats, still wanna, congrats. Thank yeah, yeah, you very yeah, much. yeah. I don't want to lose that. You have deposit. a hot box to yet? Come on, I know you smoke. Nice but idea. if I would have a guest like yourself over, we, okay. yeah, I have. When I have guests over, we smoke. Okay, cool. But it's like when I'm like by myself, I'm just we vape pen all day. I might, I might even invest in a dab rig, cause I feel like there's no smell on that. I feel like, and it's cleaner. And I and I I want the one that Frank Castillo has. He always brings it to the store. Puffco. Yeah, oh my Puffco god! Peak. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah. the the little one. Oh, the, the Sherlock. little pipe. The, the Sherlock. little pipe. Yeah, the Sherlock, Sherlock is yeah, sick yeah. as shit. I like any pipe that makes you look like a fucking like a detective. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. a like a old school Sherlock Holmes type shit. Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Do you, right. you 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 uh play Pokemon Grow? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I, I love. I still I still do. I just I went to Japan just so I could go to the Pokemon Center. I love that shit. Oh, you're a big big into that. Yeah. Like, but like my my best friend was like he was beat. He did the poke. He did Pokemon card battles in the. And I would just like ah, we're just chilling. So you just hang out at a comic book shop and watch this fool. I'm just eating Chinese food, hanging out at a comic book shop, watching my friend. Have a Pokemon battle. It was like, you know, it was like going to your friend's basketball game, but <laughs> but comic book style. Yeah, what's funny is I thought you were about to ask him, do you catch Pokemon? I mean, I, I, I'm assuming you probably do on your Yeah, account. I do. I have the yeah, Pokemon yeah. Go. If, if he says he's in Pokemon, I'm like, do you do that? There's no need to ask him the, the other questions. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Is somebody serenading us? Uh, 
was probably side of Kenny, oh. someone like side of Kenny and George. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I, I was all wondering. I was like, you're getting a Sarah, you're getting a. You ever had, you were ever into that? What? Into loud out sound system? My 1998 Four Tories used to have two 12 inch kickers. <laughs> okay. How, so, like, what year was this? It wasn't in 1998. I was, no, I was, I was in, uh, I was like in a, a senior year of high school. Fuck, just yeah. bumping out of a Taurus like Yeah, that? dude. It, <laughs> for no, no reason. No shame, no shame too, Outside huh? Outside of the fucking Thea car, fool. This fool. Yeah, dude, I'm like, I had. I, I wish I still had that car just for nostalgic feeling, just so I could hot box in it. Was like, it a good car? Cause every it tourist, was, because I had to buy a new engine for it. Every Taurus that my family owned, to this day, they're like, this is my dad said, you got to buy him Chinito, son. You got to buy him Asian. <laughs> it's like, it's like, all right, calm down. But he's like he because every it was before that was a Chevy Cavalier and a Ford Taurus and like a Ford Taurus would break something would break down on that yep. motherfucker every time, and that's where we had a homeless fools from the neighborhood come and work on the carburetor for like a six pack. Yep. It's just like mechanics, just <laughs> yeah, like like tweaker mechanics. Yeah, tweaker mechanics. Well, that's a come. real thing. I used to I used to work at a car dealership selling cars, bro, and this mechanic named George. This fool was like. He used to fucking smoke tweak or snort it both or, or both, bro. But this motherfucker could fix cars. Brilliant. And yeah. The fucking. And then this, I mean, swear to God, they would smoke it and they give them supernatural mechanic powers, man. They just be in there like looking at the carburetor extra. And I'm like, I don't know what he's looking at, <laughs> but he's fucking focusing right now. And they take the shit apart, put it back together. It's like, like a, I, yeah, <laughs> I put a weed eater engine in that motherfucker. Like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of motherfuckers out there. that really uh. I have a joke about it. I had a, a this fool who's living in my grandma's backyard. In the well, my grandma's dead now. Like my now he lives back there. But my mom has the house. And then when he <laughs> dies, I inherit a tweaker butler. <laughs> his is, his is name it, was Tony, and he has two teeth. <laughs> Straight tweaker. Hey, bombs can live for a long time, fool. Oh yeah. If they're not really heavy on drugs, they can. Wait, they're well, they're like cockroaches. Okay, okay, dog. you brought that up. How old do you think the oldest bum in LA is right now, dog? <laughs> How old do you think that? Like eighty-seven. Is? Think is there some out full right now? Eighty-seven, live like, not living, but person. oh wait, no, there's this lady that panhandles by by uh, a Normandy in exposition, and she has this like fucked up mouth, like she's like, and it's weird. She looks like she's like ninety. Damn, and she's probably tough. like thirty-eight though. Yeah, I'm about to say you <laughs> got that. Probably like thirty-eight. <laughs> the thing about that though is like if you're. When you like, if you're 90, this is how strong drugs are. Like, if, if you have done nothing with your life and you're a bum and you're like addicted to crack or whatever, like, if you just want to retire from drugs, you just kill someone and go to jail. And you just, the prison is just a rest home if you're a whole person. You know what I mean? Like, if you got nothing, prison yeah. is just a rest home. You're right. <laughs> that you're is just right. a place to sleep. And then a, a cholo will call you an OG for no reason. You were a bum yet last week, but now you're an OG. Uh, at that point, I might as well. I might as well, <laughs> might as well try, murder someone. I might. I might as well like try to do some hit mention and kill somebody for someone. And if I don't, then I'm in jail anyways. If you don't have anything in your life and you're like 80 years old, kill someone. You just end up in the retirement home. You that saw is that? Prison. You, you guys seen that lady on Instagram that was just hitting people in the head with the fucking sledgehammer? No. <laughs> what? You didn't see that per that. On Instagram, it was some shit. Some lady was just walking around, I think, the bay, just hitting people with the, like, 80-pound 80, 80 sledgehammer. Really? Randomly just walking. And just, like, she just picked someone just like that. And they finally, like, caught her. She had, like, hit, like, seven people already. But How big is a sledgehammer? Because, like, if I... Like, Triple H big? Uh, yeah. Like, the one like that he one used those, to carry? Yeah. Like, cracking heads open. Whoa. But, but she I was also crazy. She wasn't, like... I think she was just mentally ill. Like, if she, you gave her a bad look, she hit you with it. But not, like, to kill you. Because she'd, she'd try to kill you. She'd go back and hit you again type of shit. She would just be, like... You'd be walking by and you'd give her a bad look. And she was, like... Like, tweaker. She would just go, like... Kind of like a nuisance type of shit. You know that shit was the bay, though. Because it yeah. probably pulls it up. Ma'am, put that away. Ma'am, ma'am. Because <laughs> that bitch... As soon as I see a sledgehammer, I'm decking you right in your oh, stupid yeah. face. I think if, like, a bum is coming at you with a weapon and you're driving, you should be allowed to run him over. You're allowed to. To defend yourself. But, right? I, I, would, I would say so. <clears throat> yeah. I'm running him over. Like that lady with the gun on the freeway? I would have been like, I've been training in GTA for this all my life. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would have just been like, yo. Be like, I was scared for my life. 
And if you do do that, you should say that on the news. Like, yeah. GTA taught me how to save these save lives right now. <laughs> we get sponsored <laughs> by Rockstar? Rockstar. <laughs> Rockstar be dope. No. GTA Yo, you know, lives. you know Rockstar would have... They sent us a PS5? <laughs> be like, yo, we got a PS5 segment now. <laughs> no, dog. Rockstar, Rockstar's in the Rockstar's in the making making the next fucking uh uh GTA and you know there would be a mission. The girl uh, You know there would be a mission where they put you in involved the in characters, it. The characters the characters a girl now. Did you hear that? No, there's no. no there's, there's going to be a girl as a character. The character is not even yeah, if the, even if it's the main character. Did you ever play That the last sounds one? like the girl the main character is a girl. Yeah, but did you remember the last one? Well, they better let they oh, the let grinder? her I like seeing it. Dude, they better fucking let her get fucked. What? Huh? What? Yeah, dude, that, that sounded fuck very aggressive, you bro. You could fuck in the other one. Oh. Remember in GTA, you 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 could fuck the um your homie would fuck. They let her fuck. let her fuck. They, they gotta let, let her consensually fuck. Yeah, that means. yeah. Hey, if she wants to be a prostitute to make some money in GTA. She should be able to. This is GTA. Please. She wants to be an escort. In GTA, she should be able should, to. The escort op should be an option. Right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Because while you're fucking, she could also like rob you. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're gonna play like a hot chick's gonna play GTA as a bad as a bad bitch, that bad bitch better do some cardi bad bitch shit and roofie fools and steal them while she's escorting them, <laughs> and then make a rap song about it and I go to jail. They wouldn't let it happen though, because then the people are like, oh, she's a victim and she's this and she's that. You know what I mean? Like, they should. Because I think it is possible for sometimes an escort just like, I'm gonna use my pussy for this is this is my business. Yeah. Yeah, but there's too many of them who's like, oh, I need this pussy for crap. I don't know. That's my thing. If the, which I'm not anti them give, making the character for GTA as a female, but then do what she was really gonna do, as a female, as in use her pussy as leverage. Yeah. Because yeah, they yeah, all did yeah, that. Yeah. Blanca. That fucking the, the that Cuban bitch. Yeah, the, she the, she had so many boyfriends. They all have boyfriends. They all use their their man to kill people for them. And you don't think they say, "I I love you. Go kill that fool for me." I think so. Yeah, I'm not sucking your dick no more. And then there goes the guy, Fuck. killing some fool. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be great dialogue. I don't think <laughs> if you write it with that dialogue. Because I mean, remember in the last GTA, remember the wife was a cheater. Yeah. So it was pretty promiscuous. The, the, the thing, like, remember the trainer was fucking her? And so I went to go chase him and shit. I feel like you should be writing this GTA I right here. I think I should. Dog. You gotta you write that this rock script star? right here. Yeah, it ain't over. You guys can throw it. Let me do, do one, two missions. I don't fucking... I, I don't write shit. Because I was like, I, I guess we're striking? I don't know what none of this shit Oh, means. dude, I don't... Oh, they're striking too? They're, they're part of uh, the... Uh, I, I, are they? Ah, dude, I, I think... I mean, no, they can't be. I don't know. It's Screen Actors Guild. It's not Screen Actors Video Games Guild. Yeah. Um, but are you? Do you have your SAG card? No, I don't do that. Sad. I don't do that shit either. No, <laughs> I don't. I want to. So like, when I'm driving by and I'm like, do I honk? I'm like, not yet. Yeah, you know, no. not like, till I get my SAG card. Yeah. Then I'll honk. Like Sam Tripoli. <laughs> like, and I don't even know what it kind of. We really get. I kind of understand what you get. But Sam Tripoli only has his because he doesn't want anyone taking his name from there. Someone could take your Wait, name. Wait, what? Explain that real quick. Yeah, what the so fuck? So there, in I guess on SAG, you can there can only be one Sam Tripley. If mm -hmm. you're Sam Tripley, you gotta be Sam Tripley, Sam A Tripley. But there's only one person of that name, and if you stop paying for your SAG account or you get out of SAG, someone can get that name. That's exactly what Sam said. Because I was like, "Why are you even part of SAG?" And he's like, "Cause I want Sam Tripley to be mine." He's never like trying to like get a role or anything like that. He's done like he's done roles like. Uh, I don't know what roles he's done, but he's done. As a um, recent. Not, no, he's done. He has been on, not roles, but like on CTV, whatever. And then uh, he was on a Britney Spears fucking music video. I what? don't know if that counts as SAG. I don't know if that's part of SAG. I think so, but that's about how long ago was that? A long time ago. So since he's just been paying it just to stay in SAG to keep his name in whatever the fuck it is. but. Uh, All for the insurances. Yeah, that would make sense because yeah. I feel lucky having insurance. You guys got insurance? No. Insurance? Medicare. Medi Medicare. Is it Medi-Cal? Yeah, Medi-Cal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got, my wife has a day job, so we got Kaiser. Nice. Like, I, like, I was like, fuck yeah, let me get sick real quick. I don't give a fuck. But I, I ain't going to lie, though. I, I, ha I have been thinking about just like I want to upgrade it because I always wanted to like get one that I actually pay for because obviously you want to get a nice doctor that gives a fuck about you. Not like go sit in like the UCLA hospital and trauma line. <laughs> <laughs> Full on fire and shit. You're like, no, nah, there's bro, there's some crazy here. people. Like if you have Medicare, it's not like the first, like it's not the first thing you want to 
Like, the first thing you want to do is not get sick, bro. Because you're going to have to go to that fucking county hospital. Supposed to be going to Mexico to take to take care of shit. So like, uh, I would if I had papers. I'd get my hairline my hairline replaced. The, you, uh, you know you know a place in Mexico that does it? Yeah. Well, well, fucking tell us. What's yeah, up? well, tell us, dude. Yeah, what the yeah, hell? Game us up, dog. You, what do you, you mean? Don't need, you, don't, you look fine. Yeah, go, yeah. Yeah, dude. Xavier, you seen how bald my hair is? Not like yeah. I shave my head, but still. No, I, I want to get. I want to get this faded right. No one ever gets it right. I keep going to the. I keep going to the. Uh, <laughs> you get what you pay for. I keep going to the Asian salons. So like, I'll just uh, let me. Then she kind of gets it, but it's like, no, nah, I gotta go to the. I gotta yeah, go to a ahead. fucking Latin barber. Get, yeah. Yeah. Get faded. Get faded. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's trying to get like one of those like cool Texas style. Uh, what is it? Um, what's bullet? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. The what's that? What's that fool's name? Bo? Uh, Bo, is it Bo Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fool. I was like, I barely found out about last week. I was like, oh shit, I've been bumping OT the whole time. I didn't know this fool existed. I was like, there's another fat motherfucker with a mullet out there. Oh shit! Did you oh. see his shirt? Yeah. <laughs> That's so, a, this is a swap meet special, boys. I got this at Santiali. Hey, you know she's. You know what's crazy? I, you know I was she's I, out. I was about to say I was like, who made that for you, Tommy? <laughs> nah, what? this is uh, this is a Santiali special. He's pretty close, man. You guys go there on whenever. But you know she's almost out. Yeah, she's out close. She's out almost. Close. Yeah, she's out like in like the next couple, five years or so. You think somebody's she's gonna like smoke Jared. her? She's like Jared. What are we talking here? I don't... Uh, Selena Yolanda Sal 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 yeah. Saldivar. You think somebody's gonna smoke Yolanda, her? the girl like the. I think she needs. I think she's gonna need witness protection. I do think so. I don't think she's gonna get it. What if she comes out I, like Takashi six ninety and she's look, like, look, 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 I don't need no protection. Look, look. I don't think she's here. gonna. Uh, Yolanda Saldivar, the girl that killed uh, Selena. You know who we're talking oh, about? Oh, she party? Yeah, she's almost out. And, nah, and she like, served her time. She ain't yeah, getting pardoned. Yeah, she's and, almost out. And like, he's if they're gonna let her out, they gotta let the narco satanico lady out. No, she don't. Don't stop with that shit. He's on. That just killed people. Thirteen people. To be no, exact. she did not, bro. Bro. Yeah, but thirteen people doesn't equal one one Mexican pop princess. Yeah, <laughs> those thirteen people could have had a cover. Oh, she was not that even. She's kind. She's. she's not, <laughs> I thought she was way hot. Who are? Nah, she, I mean she. She's all right. J Lo was. Wait, J Lo. Well, J Lo. Dude, they got. They, they, was they made her respectful. When, when dog, they, be when, respectful. When they hired, <laughs> when they hired J Lo to play her, they did her a good deed. They did her a favor. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, you're you're J Lo, baby girl, J Lo. Oh. Jenny from the Bronx, dog. Oh. Don't go there, dog. Fuck. Well, XG's like they should have hired Jordan Lopez, Lopez to play her. <laughs> Fuck. That's what XG said. Just say you're gay, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? J Lo is J Lo is fire, dude. I fell in love when I bought Selena. I was like, I, I thought that was the actual Selena because I didn't know that the, the, she had died because my mom. That's that's how you feel about. J I feel like uh, that, that Selma Hayek. I feel that about a Selma Hayek. Oh, Selma like, Hayek. Selma Hayek has a nice rack. Yeah. Sofia Vergara. Gorgeous. I think Sofia Vergara beats all of them. Ah, fuck that. Nah, I, I hate don't, the yeah. voice, dude. The I voice, the voice, the voice, yeah. Yeah. the voice. With, the, ro with the rolling of the r uh, too much. I hate that shit, bro. Let me see later. It's too extroverted, man. I'd be like, no, I, I, it's toned down. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so I'm trying to. I, I don't want to have Medicare or Medi-Cal. I'm glad I don't have it. I one day when my wife quits, I'm gonna have to do that shit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go get my passport now. I'm gonna get some dental work done. I'm there gonna save go. up to get some fucking teeth, some teeth, some good teeth. You know, your, teeth, teeth? your teeth, yeah, yeah. your teeth are They're good. They're fine, though. bro, but I got the back, I got oh. some back oh, yeah. I need installed, bro, because from all the, you know, drug use and like yeah. drinking and all the, the fucking, I, I used to gamble hella full. I used to play blackjack all night, what all night. What casinos out there? Bro, in Stockton, they're yeah. like the little, they're like the little Asian, uh, like they just have pie gal, blackjack, and Texas Hold'em. Oh, the they're best. card rooms. The best. Yeah, I play. They're like I, low, I, they're full. They're like low key casinos. It's not yeah, like they a don't, casino. Yeah, like they don't got game. slots. They don't got slots. I nah, play they poker. Don't have shit, I play nah. poker. So when you card said that, yeah, card yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You play Dude, blackjack. From like, yeah, bro. From like, and I play. I try to be a professional poker player and all that shit. Oh, did you? Yeah, and like in like two thousand oh, eight, two thousand. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, you don't play no more. <laughs> no, oh, you don't, don't even touch it at all. That's my ultimate one. That's the one I don't like. I do. I talk about. I openly talk about doing coke, but like, I I can't. I can't gamble. Damn. That's the one thing. Like, I I will. That's where I'll turn into a monster. Like you really get hooked on it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah He's yeah, probably yeah, like yeah. Bill. Yeah, bad. Damn. Every everything, yeah. everything I have, gone. Yeah, like yeah, Bill. Yeah. Fuck. Like a real degenerate. Like real degenerate. Yeah, like, I call myself a degenerate, yeah, but that's just bro. because play a quick but, hand. Oh, uh, like I'll, I play ACR. I play online sometimes, but they kind of think I have a problem. But I literally will play like two five cent. Two five cent. No, 
No, oh, no limit. No limit. Which is not. It's like five well, bucks. You, well, like, what do you? Okay, I'll I'll talk about it. I like yeah. talking about it, but I I won't go. I can't play it. Like, I what just, were you buying in at the casino? I would play uh, four eight fixed limit, and then I would play. All they offered was one two no limit. Oh, so I would limit. go in. I would buy in for like two three hundred. Yeah, that's not too crazy. Like my our homie Bill, he buys in for five racks. Yeah, but see, my whole point is buying in for two three hundred is to take from your homie Bill. It's like you chip away <laughs> for like four hours. <laughs> maybe Bill will get a little drunk, a little faded. You, you know, you're focused on like just taking his money. And then it's boom. an all day thing. Like they it's don't an all day yeah, thing. An and all, then you leave grind, with dog. like seventeen hundred of Bill's money. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the goal. And then he comes over here. And Bill tells him he's like, "Fuck, I lost some money." <laughs> that's what I. No, yeah. but then, but he's also a whale though. Because when he wins, he's easy for you to double. I don't know. He's good, too. Like, I wasn't saying like that, but yeah. No, he, no. But see, like, but, but no, was he, he bu- obsessed? Like, no, I was with the paid. math and shit. Like, no. I, I read books. Yeah, My I, best friend was like that, and he was actually really good. But he was like, because we were underage, like, at the time. And then when he got hooked on it, we were playing, like, online the whole time. So mm-hmm. I'd be in the same room as him. And then if he lose, he'd just take over my shit. Fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Um, but then Did I, you ever I, try I, counting cards? Had. I, I, that's hard, huh? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it's you hard. gotta be Asian, have you bro. Ever, have you ever tried any of those? <laughs> you, <laughs> and I know you, Ezone. What? You always try to find like not a scam, but like a, a crazy, like crazy link. Did you ever like look like I'm gonna look? I'm gonna see a couple of YouTube, see if I can count cards. It's hard. Well, I I tried getting a book because my friend tried uh, teaching me about poker, and I was like, let me see if I get good at it, just how he did. If I knew I couldn't do that with the same book he did, I knew I wasn't cut out to fucking count cards or nothing. Yeah, it's just tough. I Gambling mean, is not my shit, and I recognize that. I may be good at other things, like not dying with doing drugs, like or shit like that. But like, yeah, like, like I don't know about like poker and shit like that, or like I just it's not my thing. I don't have that luck. Some guys are great at it, man. Some guys are great professional gamblers. They have like this is what I'm gonna spend. This is like my, my the the amount that I've come in. When you're just going out there like like an animal, dog. Like it's like slots? I have five thousand dollars, right? That means I have five thousand points. Bro, you, you don't look at it people, like money. And you meet these people, and as a, as a people that a gamble, you're so jealous of them because they always hit. And for some reason, they always hit. And I'm sure they don't because you're not with them 24 hours of the day. But for some reason, you meet these people like, this fucker always hits. Like, I'll fall like, like a flush. Yeah. Because I think he has full house. When I know he doesn't, but I'm like, I know if I call, it's him. And he's going to look at me, and I'm just going to be upset myself. And I'm like, yeah. And then... He's on. I've always talked to his own. He's kind of had like an anger problem a yeah. little bit. I was like, you can't play poker. Coolers. Oh, shit. Coolers are coolers intense, are rough, man. Yeah, cool, What like, is it? Cool, like when you when you get a hand, you're like, what are coolers? no way I'm going to like lose. When you're like 90% to win a hand like, and you go all in, you're 90% to win. And the only hand, the only card that can't, that can beat you fucking land. Comes out of the river. On the river. And you have anger management. You, you're like, you would be the type that would be like. Grab the table. And that, and that, bro, I was in it to where it happened countless times. It happens. Where it, it's part of poker. I've had aces beat by kings in Quad, my life yeah. four times. Yeah, see? That's, that's, that's river, all in river, here. River quad ace. Both, both flop. That's we both flop uh, trips. River River the fourth king. Dude, people bet, people would bet Three the house. Times. People would bet the house with hands like that. I was that. all in, of course. No, but like house. Fucking aces. Yeah. What, was the, what was the craziest thing you ever bet? The craziest thing I've ever bet? Yeah, because like you said, you win everything. Probably one hand of like thirty three hundred, one hand of blackjack. But was it always money? It was always money. Okay, so it, it was wasn't like go. Oh, like, well, I, no, I don't. I never had everything. Was just straight up money. Okay. Yeah, but that's like what fucked up my mentality though. Like when I was gambling, I didn't. I didn't want to spend money on nothing but when I was gambling. But now that I don't gamble anymore, I still like. I still buy cheap shoes. I still buy cheap fits. Like yeah. I don't give a fuck. To where like my wife is trying to help me. Like no, it's okay to have nice things. Dude, dude, it's dude. okay to have. So I know exactly what he means. I know poker players that. Is that can, why you don't buy nice things, X? No, no, see, so no, I do. <laughs> no, I have nice. No, no, but, but no, but I do know poker players that can call a hundred bucks on a bullshit hand on the on the on the turn, but they don't want to buy shoes. No, they're literally contemplating, and no. I'm like, bro, you'll call a hundred bucks like it yeah. ain't nothing, but you're contemplating buying these shoes that you like, like, and they're like, it's easier for me to put it on the table. So that so I have a bit about wearing nine dollar shoes. That was that's just a jit because I because like that's like I'm not gonna spend more, more, like as much money. And they were like whatever. They're like a pair of blue shoes. But now it's like now 
I'm getting older. I'm a heavier. I'm a fat dude. I can't just wear these fucking nine dollar plastic shoes. <laughs> I gotta wear these fucking ni- you know nicer shoes. Orthopedic shoes. Orthopedic. <laughs> Not necessarily orthopedic, but at least with some memory foam, something, some sort of tread. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking out here, uh, like on my f- bare feet touching a tire. This is not good. Yeah, bro. Like, I know what you mean. Like them Walmart shoes. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. I used to wear, bro. But now it's like, all right, as 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 my life progresses more financially, I'll upgrade accordingly. You know. Like you said, get a hotel. I know. That's gotta start with that. You should vlog it when you get when you're like, yo, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> No more motels. Hotel life for oh, me. And hotel then, and then life depending, for me. Dude, there's some the motels in Fre- like that Fresno area are so sketchy. Like anything in Fresno, Bakersfield, yeah. Barstow, I'm not doing motels. No way. Yeah. You need at least uh, a holiday. Lanto. You need at least a holiday, and you don't want the fucking giant motel spelled out with the e flashing. If the like te- if, if the person that's asking me for my fucking information is Indian. <laughs> Like I'm at the wrong place, dude. Uh, you want to know how, how ghetto? <laughs> That's a small fun? business owner. Don't yeah, like it, like alone. like if he asked me how many hours I'm gonna need compared to the whole night, I'm but, gonna fucking get pissed, dude. Uh, you want to hear the most ghettoest hotel or motel I ever stayed? Me and George. I won't even tell you the city because you'll know after. But San Diego. No, me and George went to this this Arizona. City dog. No, stop, fool. <laughs> me, and George, me and George went to the city and we get the motel. And we were we didn't plan on staying anyways because it's like it's not too far and obviously I'm his fucking road dog so he doesn't care he's just like let's go fool, so it was just a shit and shower type of shit. We get there and you know George, where, where's the iron? And I'm like I don't know fool look for it dog what the fuck you asking me look for the iron I'm not ironing for you type of shit. He's like no it's not here dog. I'm like go call service see where the fuck's the iron at you know we need an iron I'm like all right we do need an iron because I like ironing my shit too. I go downstairs and I'm like, yo, the room has no iron. And they're like, uh, yeah, let me see your ID to give you an iron. <laughs> I like it's prison. Yes, bro. <laughs> and I didn't bring my ID with Man. me, dog. Oh, I'm and I sorry. Didn't, yeah, it, I, yeah. Xavier gives us this green card. So I was like, and I looked at her and I was like, <laughs> are you for real? And she's like, yeah. And it's that things where you don't argue because you know where you're at. So you're like, I understand why. Because people steal the fucking iron all the time. Yeah, so I but, go back there and George's like, what happened? This was dying. So I have to give him my ID. Put the my ID in jeopardy. Fucking... Put my ID in jeopardy for fucking an iron, homie. It's got a keychain with a fucking stick on it. Like, you better <laughs> not steal that shit, fool. <laughs> fucking Palmdale, dog. Palmdale, homie. Palmdale. That shit said check-in slash commissary. <laughs> Fuck, said... bro. <laughs> Imagine for ID for an iron. That is that is pretty crazy. That's ghetto, dog. Hey, I think we're gonna have the homie call up call up right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's run it. Yeah, uh we're gonna get a call from uh a friend of ours that is in Hawaii at the moment. Uh my friend Johnny from Maui, who will be calling up right now. Whoa. Someone said I found needles under the bed in motels. Whoa. What? Yeah, someone in the, in the chat room said, I found needles under the bed in motels. You know, what was needles? the crazy thing that, that, that was found for a, for a convention in hotels was uh, they lifted up a bed in this Vegas hotel, and there was, like, a row of, like, different shaped dildos, a clown suit, and a dominatrix fucking uh, suit. <laughs> and it was all hidden under the bed, and this person pretty much got discovered because this, like... This person would always like the hotel manager was like, "Isn't that that person that always requests this room every every so and so, x amount of times?" He had his whole little setup there. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah, but the, the but long story short, one of the fucking dildos was like, yo. yo 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 what dragon size? Yo 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 what up man? Uh, hey, is what this, am I? Is this am I on the Patreon or am I now on the Patreon? You're on the Patreon. Is this Johnny? Yeah, yo, bro. What's going on, Ezo? What's going on, XG? What's up, Ray Ray? What's up, dog? What's up? What up, man? Big time I, fans of you guys, man. You're calling from Maui right now, right? Where I live right now in Haiku, North Shore, Maui. Damn. So, I've been um, I've been listening to you guys forever, man. I'm a big, big supporter. But right now, we've been uh, totally fucked, man. Um. You guys want me to tell me my story, or yeah, that's what we that's what we had. You what you guys want me to do? Yeah, hell yeah, tell us. So, okay, so 
two Not days ago. Know, but I don't even know what started Three. the fire. I don't know what started the fire. I don't know what nature what, fool. Well, I don't want him to. I don't know if it is. So I want him to start from the beginning. I don't really don't know where it really went down. So shoot it. Okay, real quick though, no conspiracy theories and all that bullshit. Throw that shit aside, okay? <laughs> XG is part of the swarm. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. There's a lot of people that are are dead right now. Okay, so we're gonna start from the beginning. Three days ago, I um, I live in a jungle out here. Okay, um, we have it's a big house and everything. It's, it's, we just live where it's very tropical on this side of the island. There's a lot of different temperatures throughout the island. There's desert spots, and that's where Lahaina is a desert spot. But before Lahaina starts burning down. Where we live, about 18 miles up, a big fire started near the volcano. The volcano is not erupting at all. It's just a volcano that's dormant. It's called Haleakala. So the volcano started, or the, um, the fire started going over there when I went to work three days ago. I didn't oh. think much about it. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. yeah keep going. Okay, okay. So didn't think much about the, the fire going on up the hill. When I was at work on the south side, another fire started on the south side. And then Lahaina, the west side, where the video you posted, he's on, um, that started. And about 3 o'clock my time, so we're three hours behind you guys, um, they had said that it was 100% detained. detained. Um, It was not 100% detained. It was... By seven o'clock, let me let me back step a little bit. Where the fire was at, you could get locked in on the left and the right of you. The fire jumped and it closed everyone in because of the strong winds from the hurricane. There were eighty-one mile per hour winds. We couldn't get helicopters up in the air. So when the fire started left and right, people did not have. Before that, there was no power to that part of the island because they had lost power. So no one got a warning on their cell phone about that there's a fire over there. Seven o'clock comes around, the fire starts jumping around all over the fucking town. We don't live in cities like in L.A. I'm from L.A. We're living in town out here. So it started jumping all over the town and it fucking engulfed the whole town where people could have come out. So then from there... People started running to the ocean. When they ran to the ocean, they started jumping in the water. There were so many boats at that harbor right there that the diesel started lighting up and the, the water in the ocean lit up. Whoa. What the fuck? Diesel. And I've been telling you before to come over here to Maui. Do not come to Maui. Tourists, do not come to Maui right now. Can you, can you, uh, hear, okay. can you hear me right now, Johnny? All right, so... Yeah, uh, my, both of you guys. My question is, you said the, with the volcano thing, so this was just, the, you said the volcano's not active, so this was like, a, this was a, a, no. the random fire? Like, I, I mean, obviously, people don't know if it's an arsonist or, yeah, so or something like that. I'm sorry, go ahead. These are, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, because we have some of these fires out here that have gotten bad, but it's a, lot, a lot of them end up being traced to, like, arsonists or, like, some people that just... Or just like some, sometimes it's nature or sometimes it's inten intentional. But because of the winds, that's what caused that whole fire to spread around in all these areas? Yes, sir. Now, you, because you of the, uh, the power, yes, sir. because of the power lines that went down, that sparked up everything. I heard, I heard there was some uh, tourist that flicked a cigarette and they're trying to blame him. Is that a conspiracy, obviously? Because obviously you're saying no, he was... No, that's uh, not true. No, that's... No, that's just... That's not... That's not even... Okay. Actually, right now, I haven't laughed in four days, man. There's no comedy behind this. People I'm are, not... No, I, I literally have heard this at the barbershop. I don't know how that sounds like a joke. I heard this at the barbershop. The homie literally no, just got back from Maui and he literally said no, that the theory was that that's some, some tourist. I don't know. I don't know where the punchline was on that joke right there, but I literally said I heard... It just sounded theory. insensitive, Xavier. Is insensitive? What he's trying to some literally... Some guy said that some... I was at the barbershop and they were talking about like, dude, you just missed Maui. And he's like, yeah, he proposed to his girl. And I was like, dude, you just missed it. And I was like, you've heard anything? He's like... Yeah, the theory or whatever you want to call it said that it was either the winds threw down the power line like the homie said right now no. or some guy threw a cigarette and it started the fire in a dry area zone. That's uh, first of all, I'm, I'm not taking any 
barbershop no, fact just, series, Xavier. Just, you disregard just that, Johnny. Just what? Just Whoa, fuck eat. you. The whole thing was just there. Either. It's not real. It was, he was just there. He's got family that was in, in New York and in, in Hawaii. Fuck you. He's you don't even know the states. <laughs> You're getting him confused. So, say, say it There's again, Johnny. It's called Xavier. Hawaii. There's islands, first of all. Xavier. Yeah, go ahead, my boy. My bad. You got to listen to Ezon right now, and you got to chill the fuck out because it's super insensitive. Okay? This is no joke or anything. This, this, is, this is a comedy podcast. We are on way. fire. Okay. Yeah, but I don't to... care. You guys are asking me the truth. This, no, no. Don't we? Uh, okay, so so that should happen, okay? That, that fire is lit up. Uh, now, uh, is it is you guys? Uh, you you we, said the we, people got no warning. Wake up at, no, they got zero warning. Okay, so the fire is on. It's fucking on flames. We had to wait till the next morning. Of, um, yesterday, the winds were. Hey, Xavier, I mean nothing but love on me, but um, the winds went up to uh, down to fifty-one miles per hour. Then the helicopters were able to go out. Then they're able to drop um, water all over Lahaina. Lahaina is completely burned down. Our town is completely burnt down to a, nothing there. There, that's a that's like a homeless encampment at certain spots. Even though there's a lot of tourists there, there is a lot of homeless there. I know how much you get feed on them, but there is like 300 plus homeless there. They can't go anywhere. Everyone got stuck in there. Those fools died. What survived? Survived. Everyone. Excuse me. The, all those all those people that were in the encampment died. So so hold on, okay. So what survived? Survived are the people. There is a, a, a about uh, like five hotels that survived. That those hotels are not being. Uh, they have no power. They have no internet for the same. They're predicting over a month, so we can't even contact those people right now. They can't see any of their Instagram stories. But everything we're getting is for people going in there. So these people are now getting shipped out of Lahaina, getting flown out to Oahu from Maui. There's 11,400 people so far have left Maui. There um, is nothing but people who are just protecting, like, the cops and the uh, paramedics right now going into Lahaina. We cannot drive in there. We have a friend that's a cop. She texts us saying that the um, report, what the news is saying, is totally false. There's hundreds, over thousands of dead bodies in the water and on land. Right now, that's predicting about 355, what people are saying. And what the cop had told us, this is a friend of ours, a paisa, hot ass paisa, XG, but she uh, texted us saying that it's just, it's, it's a devastation. So that fire is still going on. That's 80% contained. We have another fire in the south side of Maui where I work at. I haven't been to work in two days because I'm not going to get trapped over there. And now we have the original one still going that's 0% contained. That's above, that's about 18 miles above our heads right now. That's fucking crazy, man. And I mean, hey, man, I mean. The one that's 18 miles above our heads, that town has no water because the, the power lines went down. That makes the pumps not working for the for the water, for them to get water. And people can't go and try to spray off this fire that's near their house. So we have friends going up with tanks of their own that own their own businesses. A lot of my friends' businesses and their homes have been burnt down. There's missing people everywhere. There's 11,000 people in Lahaina that were trapped over there. And there, the news was saying that there were six people dead yesterday. Now, this is a podcast I could curse on. Fuck off. That is bullshit right there. The media is fucking up like how X, she's always reporting with the swarm. They're fucking up right there hard. And there's not no conspiracy theory how it went up in the air. This is shit just happened. Mother Nature rules over anyone. Man, that, that, that's, that's a crazy situation to be in, man. And obviously prayers to you guys. But honestly, like... What what's a legit what's a legit place that people can actually help out? Because I know like when you lost everything, like you know, like when there's an earthquake in El Salvador or something like that, people will donate stuff. People will go ahead and uh, what's a good source to donate to? Do you, do you at least know that where you guys are getting help from? So what we are asking right now for, and I had talked to KLOS, um, the FM talk station ninety five point five, um, this morning in LA. I've been a big fan of Frosty, Heidi, and Frank growing up. They were back when Howard Stern was on the radio. I called them this morning at 3 o'clock. I woke up and I made sure I got on that phone to let the, the state of California, but mostly Los Angeles, where I called home. I'm from Wilmington, California. Yeah, from Wilma. Right near the harbors. So what I'm 
was telling them and what my dad went to go do and what is happening right now with the IL- ILWU, the Longshoremen's Union, Union 13. You could go and you could drop off your food, your groceries, anything you could think of. We do not need money. We don't need money. We need actual clothing. We need water. And you could stop there at 231 um, C Street in Wilmington, California, 90744, the ILWU. Longshoreman Memorial Hall. That's where my dad is from. Well, he's from Mexico, but that's where he works at, and he is helping us out in any way possible. And I'm help, I'm contacting you guys. I've been yesterday and today, and he's on. If you go on Green Thumb tomorrow, please give that a shout out because that's a big platform. Uh, we need help. We do not need money. We need donations. Money is going to be like the conspiracy theories. What, like she's going to say, that money is not going to come to our hands. We need. The product in her hand. Can you, can whether you, it's used clothes, can, whether it's a blanket. Can you can you uh, sh- uh, say it one more time the location and uh, where to dr- where to drop off donations? This is in Wilmington, California, right near Long Beach, right near San Pedro, in California. This is ILWU Longshoreman Memorial Hall, three two one. C Street, Wilmington, California, 90744. Shout out to DJ Will J. We need that album coming out already, <laughs> homie. Man, if I can, Will needs to donate some I'm stuff. Trying to get, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get some humor, man. I'm trying to get some humor. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, look, man. It's, Thank it's, you for letting me be on your podcast. Bro, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to, to, uh, to, to hear from you and uh, to, to, to actually get some actual information from somebody who's out there to, you know, and it should let people know the, se- the severity of the situation, um, you know, uh, uh, of, of how it is. My Instagram, my Instagram is Maui Shed Man Sandy. Maui Shed Man Sandy. If you guys have any questions out there, Patreon, just let me know. And we just need donations. Tourists should not be coming to Hawaii right now. Yes, they say that all the time. We do not need tourists coming to Maui at all. There you go. They need to rebuild, man. And it's 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 almost like one of those uh, Katrina situations, but with fire and water, which is a little bit more harder to deal with. Hey, man, I, uh, I, I, we, we hope and we pray that you uh, that you stay safe, bro. Keep in touch. Uh, definitely give us an update. You know, maybe like we'll touch base next week and uh, see what's going on with it. And uh, like I said, if you could text me that information. Uh, to my to my cell phone, and that way I could just post it on our pages and stuff like that, and I'll tag you know I'll tag you in it, and then we'll repost it and get it cracking for you guys. Uh, we hope that you know that uh, that everybody is able to locate their family safe for the most part. You know, it's not contained yet, brother. Yeah, I know from what from what you we're said. We're shooting for the best. We're shooting for the best. So we got a big Aloha spirit out here, and I wish that Aloha spirit could go towards california because when i go to la it there is no aloha spirit so i'm going to stay here in maui and i'm going to make sure to rebuild what i call now home and i'll send you all that link to all that stuff he's on i totally appreciate it and if you could also let the boys know at dr greenson that they could repost this because we are in dire need of help as much as we can i hear you john and i uh what i hear you johnny and i will be like i said i will be re, i will be uh making sure that this gets this gets spread out on that show as well much aloha, brother. Much aloha. Aloha, brother. Take care, and uh, we'll keep in touch. Yeah, let's keep our heads up and pray, pray for Maui. All right, guys. All right, man. Fucking ain't that shit. I'm not joking, man. For sure, man. We'll uh, take care, Johnny. Okay, aloha, guys. Damn, that shit. That shit got serious, dog. Some roasters. Well, I mean, like, fool, you don't know, what, you don't know what it's like to be surrounded. That fool sounded like he's. he's I like, was asking a question. That's I know, pretty but incredible. I didn't say Jeff. You know what, you I know, didn't say Jeff Epstein showed up and you, started the fire. Dog. But you know, you guys but, acted like I said. It just sounded like <laughs> the way you worded it, where you're like, because you know, it's like you're like, hey man, barbershop fact number number one. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just. There, you could have just said like, yo, it was on the news at the barbershop, not like I heard it from the homie. Like, 
That's like you you made it sound like, yo, I heard that girl sucks everybody's dick. You know, I'm like, it's not like a little rumor and shit. Like but he's over here. He literally has family in Hawaii. I, I stayed mean, quiet the whole time. I was like a fly on the wall in that motherfucker. I was like, ooh, so yeah, cause, cause you could hear you cause you could hear it in his fucking you know tone. It, like he's he said it with pain. And you know what it felt like? like? I mean, you know what it felt like, at least for you guys? It felt like when your best friend's getting yelled at by his mom and you're in the car and you're just like like fuck, it ain't none of man. my business, but fuck. Hey, there was some Hawaiian people in the chat room, I bro. Like I was like, they were just like, like I wasn't yeah. trying to talk no shit. Like obviously it's happening, man. Oh, 100%. I was a question. I was prayers, like, prayers to Maui, dog. Yeah, prayers. Yeah, I'll go donate some clothes, dog. I got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was like, I'm finna go get rid of a lot of stuff because I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit, that shit is kind of fucked up. I can't ever see. I can't ever. I don't know. I can't ever like. Not that I can't ever picture it, but it's it's very hard to picture that like losing everything. Like from not like I mean I mean like really losing it like when you don't even have, like if you saw a bird to a Chris yeah. <laughs> yeah like you're like fuck bro I got a homie who's from Hawaii he's uh he's a door guy at the comic space it's Willie Simon he hasn't been like he's been here in L A but he's been like the back of his mind he's like bro I've just been thinking about Maui the whole time he's I just been thinking about home the whole time because it's on fire and I was like it's really affecting even people out here. Yeah, they need those yeah. like for a place that's surrounded by water, man. They need to like get a bunch of those planes that I, I mean those helicopters that apparently Canada owns like fifteen of them and we only own one. You know those yeah. ones that drop water. Every time we see those, <laughs> they're coming from Canada. So you got to. I mean, he, they, they gave all the info. Some of it, it cut out a little bit for like. Yeah, no, he, we got we got under two three one West C Street in Wilmington. Uh, you guys could uh, drop off donations there. Uh, like I said, man. I, these people need our help, and like they are a part of America. To be, you know, to be fair, bro, like they, they are a state, bro. Like it's not like we're it's not like it's a third world country, but it's like Dude, we went into war for you that. know. I hit we the went into war for that state. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's we legit it, went to war. We nuked some motherfuckers for that state. I, I just realized, like, you'd have to say that they are. I was like, wait, no, they are a part. Why the fuck aren't we? Like, hey, yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, well, hey, wait I a minute. Mean, hey, we didn't do that for Puerto Rico. No, we and hey, Donald is, Trump that not, technically is, not, is, is America's Donald Trump too. was doing this shit over there. He's throwing toilet paper. Dog. Let's not. I'm not no offense, Puerto Rico. Let's not deflect towards Puerto yeah. Rico. <laughs> they are. They yeah. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. but you know, the Hawaii is different, bro. Hawaii be bringing tourism, not AIDS. You know. <laughs> I, I, to be fair, I always bring it up though. Puerto Rico does have the highest HIV rate. <laughs> I said, let's not deflect towards Puerto Rico. <laughs> and that's the second thing you did. Not the place you want to raw dog it at. <laughs> I don't think you want to raw dog in any third world country. They're not. They're a part of America. They are a part of America. Yeah, bro. Listen, like you're raw dogging in America. It's just not advised for you to just raw dog it there. Yo, America treats Puerto Rico like the like the Latin steps on, dog. 100%. Yeah. It'll be without exactly. power. You go, you don't need power, baby. Yeah. You're, fine. you're fine. You're fine, you're baby. Fine. You don't need power. Yeah. <laughs> Treats it like how Arnold treated that uh, that mistress. A hundred percent. That's how we treat Puerto Rico. Yeah. And they're like, it's fine. So it is side bitch. <laughs> it is on the side. It's like number fifty two. You can't yeah, call it number dude. the side. Yeah, it's an it's an odd number at fifty. Fifty was uh, cool. Fifty one. Now you're like, we need. To now get we a, get now. We need, now we need to get nine more. No, we. Need I like to, round numbers. America to, likes round numbers. You don't like round numbers when you pay for shit. Don't you like at least fives or round numbers? I think American. I like low numbers. Low numbers. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. I'm buying shit, bro. That's no what round numbers. Like you, you, when you have money, you don't like ending in zeros or fives. I like to end in zeros. Yeah, you're an idiot that just likes to have twenty two bucks. If I pay for something and there's twenty two bucks in there, I'm like, get those two bucks into gas, or I'm gonna buck and buy this fucking. Got anything for two bucks, bitch? You, oh, you can't. You like? I don't can't. Like I, it. I, oh. I need that shit needs to end in zeros at all moments. Wow. You're OCD. Uh, yeah, that's OCD. Yeah, yeah, or fives, and I'll literally. I'll be I mad about it. it. I'll go ah. Exactly. Uh, no I wonder they take you on tour, bro. Like when he when they fucking tell him he's like, sorry, Xavier, I don't have a hundred. All I have is eighty. <laughs> bro. I, yeah. I don't even care. I'm not like, gonna you better not give me eighty nine dollars, Sam. In the box, I'm not gonna ask you five bucks though. Yeah. Let's like you right? better not give you better not give me eighty nine dollars, Sam. <laughs> I'll take eighty. <laughs> I don't like coins in my pocket. Like I don't See? like quarters or pennies and shit. Like it's yeah. It's like, I, like I feel you. I, I like stacking the quarters up at home. Like when I'm, I have all these changes. I stuff. like jingle jangling about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, but when you're out and about, no. But like if I if I'm stacking them like in my car and because uh, I'm always on the go and then I'm like, all right, I gotta empty this. I'll put them in a jar and then just. Yeah, I'll do that sometimes, but like, like I won't pick a coin up. Off. I I see a like a dime. I'm not gonna pick that up. And like my wife will do it. She goes, "I thought a dime," and I go, <laughs> "I'd pay you a dollar not to pick up that p dime right now." <laughs> not pick up that p <laughs> dime. <laughs> yeah, get that gross dime out of here. Para lavar, fool. <laughs> uh, but fucking, we was at. I was in Canada with with uh, Felipe, and I was did the coin thing. Like, it, like they they don't they have increments of five in paper. 
but anything lower than that is like fuck a two dollar one dollar yeah. it's all coins and i got i went to a dispensary like, they gave me hella change in coins yeah. I, was like, I don't want these fucking coins so i was walking about homeless people like you have change i was like hey oh yeah <laughs> and I swear I had to have had like thirty eight dollars in coins, and I was just giving out coins. <laughs> Fuck it. By the time some lady asked me, I gave her a whole all everything I had, everything. And then uh, I was hanging with Felipe. Felipe is like she was like panhandling Felipe, forgetting she she forgot I was there. She's like, can I have some change? I was like, I just gave you all my change. And then she looks over Felipe like, yeah, this guy's fucking awesome. There's exactly. never enough change, though, my boy. Because I gave her like twenty six dollars in coins. In their defense, and it doesn't look like twenty six dollars out there either. Yeah. But in their defense, there's never enough change, though. You could have given her a thousand dollars, and she still would want more. That's true. That's true. Never enough. But for these she had fuckers. to go out of her way and look at me and remind herself. I was like, no, that gave me a, that guy gave me a shit ton of money in coins. That's true, man. I don't know, man. Like these days, bro. Like I don't know. Like when I see a bum, I feel like for me to get some money, they gotta prove it to me, dog. Yeah. In a fucked up way, like it's crazy. Like I'll be like. I really got to take a look at this one. I'd be like, yo, this one looks a little bit too clean. You ain't getting my dollar. Yo, I, can, <laughs> I, he's on, I can see you like walking to a 7-Eleven, some guy asking you for like two bucks, like really neat. I'm like, do two jumping jacks. Nah. <laughs> Makes people do two jumping jacks. You're like, here's two bucks. You, know you got to earn it. You got to earn it. You know two how, they, you know how, they, you know how they really get me though? Like for sure you'll get me if you're, if you're a homeless. You got a dog with you. Oh man, oh, yeah. that's it, dude. I can't. But that's, that's the dog. That's the dog doing the pulling on your heartstrings. That's yeah, I was like, so I'm guy. like, fuck, and then I'm like, I almost, I almost want to, I almost want to go in there and buy some dog food for it. Be like, I just want to make sure he gets this. Yeah, yeah, but we live in a first world country where like a dog is like that's the culture we're in. Like if you're like a little dog, a big dog, we're like, I could watch hella beheading videos All and day. not and not blink an eye. Oh yeah, but if I see a dog, a puppy get his paw hit, I'm fucking, it's done. Or, a, or like that dude who killed cats, remember? And then every, the whole world wanted to kill him? Yeah, fuck that dude. Yeah, fuck that dude, man. But then I'll be all straight face watching Al-Qaeda videos like, this is fine. But is there something <laughs> about dogs yeah. in this culture where like, I can't watch that? It's just any animal, period. Any like, animal, yeah. period. Especially a domesticated one. You're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, why? I'll literally really get fucking angry, bro. Like when it's, when it's like, I look at, I'm driving and I'll see the fucking, uh, I'll see the fucking, uh, the, like, you know, the temperature. And I'm like. 97 degrees. This bitch is walking her dog. I'll be like, would you walk on the floor? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you, like you wouldn't it's go. The, that pavement's hot as fuck. Feet right now, bitch. Walk yeah. bare feet. See how it feels. Take them sandals off and put them on the floor. You think he likes it? Them corns are going to sizzle if you put your feet on that hot ground right now. You've never like, uh, uh, what is it called? Like when you degut a fish? Is that what it's called? Nah, I've never Filet? been fishing. Huh? Filet a fish? What do you no, mean? No, when you get a real fish and you take the guts out before you, yeah, you gut them. Yeah, 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 you gut them. Yeah, you've never done it? I've never done it. I'm not that kind of fisher, per, fisherman person. Well, any, fin any fisherman well, yeah, does it. When you it. take the fish out, you got to, yeah. You, yeah, you, like, I mean, I, when, the one time I've been fishing with my uncles and shit, like, when I was younger, like, they did it. I saw it. Like, oh, you, uh, you wouldn't do it? Nah, I'm not that kind of person. Like, even when I go do, when I go, when I go to do the Santeria things, like, even if, like, like Wait, I'm like, I'm you do not. do Santeria things? Yeah, like uh, does, I, like I have I have a godmother and uh, you know like you know and uh, through through Paulo Mayombe and those stuff. Okay, yeah. yeah, but you won't gut a fishy. Nah, like even, even I like buy goat, but no fishy. I don't gut the goat or anything like that. You don't do that. Like it's like, it's usually like a bird or something. Like usually like if it's a four legged animal, you're really fucked, bro. Like you you got some shit on you. <laughs> like, but like it, when when whenever that is called upon, uh, like it's like I don't like I don't even fucking look, bro. Like I'll I'll straight out be like I'll tell my godmother like. Like I'm like, yo, is it over? At least did she let you look away? Cause it's very cult if she's like, fucking keep your nah, eyes nah, open. Nah, no, no, she like that. Keep nah. your eyes open. Nah, it's yeah, I get to I get to like, you know, look away and shit. Nah, yeah. Good. It's not like it's like not a scary like movie. yeah. You're like, nah. Yeah, cause that's what people think, but it's just like, hey man, like fucking I came in here with some badass energy, man. Like, you know. Or like whatever. You came in there hexed or whatever. It's not always like that. Sometimes you just gotta like bring some fucking cupcakes to the deity or something like that. Or some sweets, whatever the you know, or like some rum or some shit. No, this is very like, and I'm not saying like, uh, I'm interested in this just because I I grew up so Catholic. Yeah, I, I did too. I was raised more. Yeah, I was one of the I was one of them fools that uh that 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 uh walked out with the wine and all that shit with the oh yeah. the altar boy. Yeah, I was not the uh, fool in front of him, but like you know how like they were all deep in the Catholic <laughs> church, so I I was I all, wasn't <laughs> the fool in front. Like you didn't make Catholic <laughs> fool get out of here. Yeah, like I was I was on the side, bro. Like. <laughs> I wasn't there on the side. Hey, like I next wasn't to... the point guard dog, but yeah. I was a good shooting guard. Yeah, bro. 
I grew up like that. Yeah, that's why they didn't rape you, huh? You were good enough. I was fat, enough. dog. Was it wasn't rape. Hey, that, was that was the only time that I was thankful. I was like, they're not raping no fat kids. Oh, I thought the opposite. <laughs> you were like, oh, I wasn't sexy enough. <laughs> I was like, I was like, fat kids ain't rapable. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna go to your house. I'm gonna ask for so many snacks before we fuck. <laughs> Remember when I told you I did? I stole the the the, the pack of fucking oh, the, the body of Christ. Uh, body of Christ. Such a beast. You took. You took him. I, st I stole that, bro. Like in a. For what? You take him home to put tuna on? What do you? No. Doing? So uh, my theory, because I was I was young when like this happened. Like so, I w I remember took it. I was like, yo, I was like, I wonder if I eat a lot of it, will it expand my life? <laughs> yeah, like like I'm like it's yeah, like I thought I was like maybe I get a few years, uh, like like five more years in my life. Because I'm eating a whole pack of, pack of Body of Christ. No, oh, I, man. Those fools taste like... They taste like stamps. No, yeah, they dude, yeah, they're dude, very stale. To top it off, steals a whole packet. His grandma's basically in her 80s. Doesn't decide to give her any. <laughs> Eats all of them, dog. What a piece of shit, dog. Knowing, thinking that they give you extra life. I did like, put... Like a I, fucking I did, Mario one-up fucking a Mario I, I ate it. Like, when I got to, like, after four of them, I was like, man, I'm going to add some Smucker's Jam on this. <laughs> no, yeah. you didn't. Yeah. And I, and I, you didn't put I jam ate, on I, the body. I ate, I ate it with <laughs> Smucker's Jam, dude. Like, a little bit. Not on all of them, but just, like, a little scoop out of sight. And I was like, I'll just dip them here so it has some hella taste. Hella Latino. Hella Mexican. You were squeezing <laughs> lime on it and shit. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> but that's... That, that's were, you a, eating, hey, were you eating it one at a time going, the body of Christ? The nah, body like... Christ. At first, I, I I was like one, nothing happened. Two, nothing happened. I thought something was what gonna, you happen. gonna happen. I don't know. Mario I thought up, like a Mario up, like a power up. Yeah, like I was. You thought he was gonna power up? Yeah, like I thought mushroom. I was like, yo, man, I was like, I'm finna fly or some shit, bro. Like, you're, you're, if you're if you believe in Jesus, has superpowers, and you're eating Jesus, like a you whole, should get a, a little whole bit of Oreo superpowers. pack of Jesus, bro. I didn't even think of like, oh yeah, you really bought into that, huh? No, I yeah, you're a kid. You're in the. I had just done my first communion too, bro, and. When I took a sip from the wine, I took a really big gulp. So I thought that burning from the wine was the Holy Spirit in my fucking chest. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, I was so innocent in the sense where I was like, "Oh, Fuck. yeah." So I, I, I really bought that in. I was like, "Yo, that's really the blood of Christ." And this shit burned in my heart. That was the sins. And then that's that's what made me want to steal the pack of crackers. Fuck, yeah, bro. Like when when I, I mean, I bought that's into interesting. It. I, I, I bought into it too, and I really thought that the, like for real, like. If we all prayed for my soccer team to win, we win. And then I would always, when we didn't win, I would be like, that's because someone didn't why pray Why, God? Enough. Why? Do you, guys, yeah. do you guys have good relationships with your dads? Yeah. I yeah. He does. I, I I mean, I did until he left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't. I think that's why. I think oh. That way I was like, this is gross. I like rolled my eyes at everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, I really, I went to church, but I didn't really buy it. Oh, but this was it, only for like I mean? the first year. And then you figure out, oh, I prayed really hard and we still didn't win. Fuck this shit. Okay. Like it didn't take okay. long for me to figure out. Oh, okay. this isn't how some this people, works. Some people, they never find it. Yeah. you know, some people that's, never find no, it. No, that's what I mean. I figured it didn't take too long. Got some I haven't found yeah. it yet. You know. Somebody said these kids really love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah, hey, man. It, hey, you, you know. like Jesus? You're just gonna put some jelly on him real first, real quick. <laughs> I was, I, yeah, dude. I was just like, yo, man, Jesus is great, bro. <laughs> two at a time, too. Two, two at a time. time. So you have a little... crunch. The Whatever smucker crunch. sandwich? You no, 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 smucker no. Sandwich? Just like on the, like a like a tostito salsa. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe you didn't even. I'm a, I'm a buy, watch. I'm gonna come in here one day. No, with no. the I'm gonna buy it because you can buy them online. The pack of body of Christ crackers and we're gonna eat them in charcuterie board. They don't board. call them that. I hope they call them the body of Christ. Oh, crackers. I thought we we're gonna put them in charcuterie board. Yeah. Charcuterie board. Look at these so spicy, oh, bro. I don't know how to say pizza either. Leave me alone. Right. Hey man, we wanna we wanna thank Saul Trujillo for coming by, man. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So where can they follow you at, bro? They want to check out your stand up or if they want to follow you, we'll see what you're up to, bro. What's up? Uh, at Soul Comedy on Instagram, uh, at Malitted Madman on, on TikTok. But I just come follow me on Instagram, man. Follow me on Instagram. I got a Comedy Central featuring that's out on YouTube right now. Just look up Saul Trujillo. Check that out. That's, that's tight, bro. Congratulations on that. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Ray, shout outs. Shout out to Saul. Thanks for coming through, man. You're hilarious, dude. Thanks, bro. Remind Appreciate me of that. Lee Syatt. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the energy, I, like it. I got you. I'm on your high. <laughs> yeah, the fucking Christ killer. Anyways, follow me on Morning Shot Films IG and YouTube. Check out my website, MorningShotFilms.co. Xavier, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, they got a dope guest coming on this Saturday, so tune in for that. What do we? Yeah, we rock. Oh, I guess we can't cancel Saturday. <laughs> no, y'all gotta do it. He's a great guest. Yeah, obviously I'm not gonna even let them because I wish. Was it Matt Rife? Uh, his homie oh. that produced the show. I forget his. Yeah. Do we get Robin? Not Batman. 
I'm just, no, I'm just, no, I'm just playing. He's such a piece of shit, dog. He's about to come on the show, asshole. Anyways, be here Saturday. If he would Eddie appreciate that joke, then. If you're in New York or in Connecticut, go to my show with Sam Tripoli and Eddie Bravo. Go to samtripoli.com and go to Flavors by Zone. We got a bunch of shit over there. And thanks for all the Patreon subscribers, all 272 of you, I think. Got yeah, we, we we will have some exclusive stuff coming up for you guys. Go watch the new episode of High and Hungry. Go to flavorsbyezone.com or highandhungry.shop. There's a new there's a lot of new stuff on the website, including a lot of new hats, one of ones, the new era ones. Go check them out. And there's a lot of new gear that's new high and hungry gear that's gonna be coming up as well, too. And we don't smoke the same gear. I'm working on a few things, believe me. So just stay tuned and we'll see you guys this Saturday, I guess. <laughs>